Oh. Yeah, he normally do got the screen off. Drip, it's loud as fuck over there. I think. I Hold up, let me try some. Yup. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's yep. Drip. That's you gotta turn your vibrate off. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to BRP, y'all. Uh, nigga, is that the is that moonshot, nigga? Welcome back to BRP. No, nah, God, this nigga. You the police? You the? Nah, I'm just saying. Is it really moonshine? Nah, because if Ooh, the I glass like is that full of man. moonshine, that was um, a whole setup. Yeah, it's just it's just I just changed the size he, of the table. He just went like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Yo. not gonna do that. It would look like a fucking bomb shelter down this yeah, bitch. You anyway, see my shit anyway. So I, all right, so I don't know if I've told this story before, right? Like, so I'm a kid. I don't know nothing about look at the time. A long time ago, Fact. right? You like six, many moons ago. So I'm over. I'm over one eight five four, and the panty man is there. The right? panty man. Rest in peace to the panty man. Rest in peace, Mr. Thomas. <laughs> You know, that was Mimi's debut, was the Panty Man. Was the oh, Panty wow. Man. Rest in peace to the Panty Man. Well, my grand, my grandmother tells me to go inside and get the Panty Man, the glass, a god dang, uh, other, other god dang, uh, some of that West Virginia moonshine, that white lightning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I can't. This is that story. <laughs> nigga, when I, when I went and got the glass for Mr. Thomas, it looked like what Cuz got. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Somebody pour you that drive. much liquor? That's me. That's how know. I pour it. You ain't know. I poured it like I poured that great, that, that, that thick chat. great Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Piece of the chat, for real. I saw, uh, shouts of peace. I saw what you said, Sean. Here oh. before before the bell. I know it's yeah. Club 835, but I like before the bell. That's a... Uh, I'm... I'm I'm gonna write that down. Hey, I'm write that down. Old so, time. uh, how y'all doing? I, hey. I didn't expect to be uh, twinning. Go, best friend. I don't, I don't, I don't know. The <laughs> I, I no wouldn't have worked if I didn't have this. Hey. This, this hey. devil. Hey. The, the, hey. What's hey. the score hey. in the devil's game right now? Hold up. Hey, play a little bit. They, they was, they got the fly, this. It's tied up one to one. Shit, they better beat the Flyers. That's what I said. Motherfucker, is that moonshine? Y'all <laughs> niggas, the cops. <laughs> is it really moonshine? No. I, I, I'm gonna do it. 2023. I told myself I was gonna make my own moonshine. No, you're not. Hey, I'm gonna do, do it. Know moonshine. Just gotta put a bunch of shit in a, in a, in a jar. I think you put who? From what I understand, you put hoochies in a bathtub. And that's how you get bathtub hooch. <laughs> it's too early. Sir, it's not even five minutes in. No, um essentially it's the, like like it's 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 fermentation. You just put like you could put like a base in a, a you could put like literally, it's just like fruits, like uh fish, prunes and, and shit like that. Just throw a bunch of shit in like a thing of whatever base alcohol vodka rum whatever from what i'm told you could just you could the puerto rican family that i used to live near they would they would put the moonshine concoction in a jar and then they would bury it yeah, and so like bury. maybe like uh, six months maybe like a year maybe two years dig it up and then drink it but so, they says depending on the temperature in your basement you could go and just like throw the shit in a cupboard and just let it sit for a bit and check on it like every three months. It's just shit getting old. Rock, you ain't had the right hoochies. You ain't had the right hoochies, Rock. They ain't ferment fast enough. What's apple pie moonshine? Oh my, oh my gosh. Yes, what I that mean? That. Last time I went down, what last time I went down Virginia, which is many moons ago. Shout out to cousin. You know I mean the 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 deacon and um we get in a trash bag. I respect it. Hey, Zell, you gotta make some of that hoochie. There you Facts. go. Make some Yo. of that hoochie for um WrestleMania. We just gonna drive. Hey, make sure you drive bring it clean. clean. It better be clean hooch. Hold up, hold up. Don't no, nobody like no clean hooch. Salute to Antoine Colder. 
<laughs> most, None of the best hooch is queen. Uh, <laughs> Jermaine in the chat? Jermaine ain't in the chat? Not yet. No, All not right. yet. So I'm not saying that's about his birthday yet. Uh, but nah, so shouts to Antoine for getting a promotion. Uh, it's always good Shout to see. Shout to Seahawk, too. Seahawk, too. Happy, happy birthday, C- matter of fact. Happy birthday, Seahawk, for real. Seahawk. Birthday, happy Leslie. Birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Leslie. Mm-hmm. Leslie, happy birthday, Les. Big Les. Big, big Les. Is every Leslie big hey, yo, Les? Remember the one joint yes. that looked like Big Les, yo? Uh-oh. Never mind. From, the <laughs> From down uh <laughs> please don't say no names. <laughs> From down, um, uh, no international, na- down from from down in National Harbor. Oh, <laughs> never mind, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Listen, there's certain places where my cousins can't go. Mm. Not, no, not this cousin mm. is I. Right. right. He good. I got other good. cousins that you, that you won't see on a show, right? Or in a picture. Yeah. If you don't catch us out, you'll never catch us. Facts. They can't go nowhere. Cause cause the other day was like, nigga, I still can't find my chain. <laughs> Wait, how long's it been since you you had this chain? He, he lost it in big legs. Damn. <laughs> God bless that chain. That's, that's what happens. Sometimes you just gotta charge it to the game. <sighs> you ain't want that one back. Mm-mm. Yeah, Seahawk really is putting on a wrestling clinic over there. Um, that man, that, that the first, the first time, salute always. You know, you already know six oh nine. You already know what it is. The first time that man sent over a, a, a doc, I said, "Oh yeah, it's a, it's a wrap. It's, it's we good money." He was nervous. Shout out to son. It was good money. No, he always, he always got his um his pecs out. I would be nervous too. The- Hey, hey, Vaughn, I'm waiting on my uh on my 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 the DAC joint with the Dallas upside down. That's on the way. That's hard. You ain't you ain't seen the joint DAC been wearing in the press conferences? Hold up. Nah. With a like a um the words upside down, it's flipped. yeah. <laughs> nah. With a mean cuff on it. Oh, only, look at, only look at one, he know what it is. First victim. We're not going to acknowledge it until next until next year. Mm. Shout out, to, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Shout out to that's a real one right there. That's what I'm talking about. This, this yeah, Dallas man. hat kind of hard. I ain't gonna cold you. Let me let me. Shout out to Cubs. It just it's, it it just say Dallas on it, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, Get his ass out of here. <laughs> yeah, I had, Ooh, I had I don't to locate. About no hats. If it don't I had to no locate. Home. I had to locate my my Dallas homie. That's hard. Oh, that's yeah. hot. That's hot. That's hot. Whoa. That's my man. You know what I mean? It's Miguel Tejada right there. I, I had a uh I had a cowboys hat back in the day. It's wow. Like, Cause they was Class. winning Super Bowl. I mean, they they had the team at the, at that time and it matched with you know the flavors. It was, it was blue though. It was like straight it was nice no. blue. No, you see you see this right here? Yeah, when they when they put this one upside down, I still ain't getting it. It why the O's, the O's ain't wet. Well, let me let me ask you a question because I I have a Chicago Bulls. My one Chicago Bulls fitted is the is it might the, wet. No, probably. No, he, 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 I don't think probably that nigga was somewhere in the casino letting it ride. <laughs> Three sheets to the wind. Nah. Um, it's a it's the Bulls logo up with the white women at with the white women at. I'm sorry. Now, the type the the, the, the type wrong. of the type of person I am, I had to I had to hit up some of the homies in Chicago. White women at. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I had to hit some of the homies in Chicago. I was like, yo, is this disrespectful if I rock this hat? I just like I and he said it was cool. But I don't know if everybody say that. Like I don't like if you walked around me with a, a devil's logo upside down on your fitted, I'd probably ask you where you got it before I would say You're gonna say what set you from? Take that shit off. Drip, throw up a set. Wait a second. Throw Drip. up some California shit. Your hair is laying sick. 
Oh shit. You gonna uh, take your hat back oh, off. Man. Oh, Cal, put put the, the head up. Girl talk. <laughs> this is girl talk. Come on, Trip, take your hat off. Take the hat off. Drippy. Come on, my drippy. Take the hat off. There you go. Put me me at They got a whole lace front on. Girl. Woo! Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, nigga, that ain't nothing but a Hawaiian silky. Informer. I give them down. Give me down. Joe, you ain't got no glasses around you. No, 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 none of those uh word circle shades. Nah, Come on, glasses man. are played out. It's time for a new Grandmaster D. Here he go, Grandmaster D. This is this is my my word. team is on right now. Face ass word. Yeah. Put him. Right in. I'm sorry. Let's uh. Oh, Bud Bundy ass. <laughs> Not in the mood tonight. Trip House is mad at me. He was mad at me earlier. He said, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I said, never mind. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'm good. Yo, for fuck's he sake. Was he was upset. For fuck's sake is some serious shit. That's when I know I need to take a step back. Snow yeah, drip. You better gather yourself. <laughs> drip. <laughs> Bring it all together. <laughs> Gather you yourself. Know. Peace, peace, Shelly Belly. Drip, what's what's the temperature? Is it still snowing out there? Yeah, we apparently, I think one town got 15 inches or something like that. Um, I had to get a ride. <laughs> uh, me, me. Store. Relax. My yeah, grandpa had to cool. take me in because my car can't handle like the amount of inches that we had yesterday morning. It's still snowing today. Um, <laughs> Yeah. What? It's terrible. It's terrible. The snow knocked the bottom off that car. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Should I? My car is trying to back in to, and it can't. It can't back into it. It's too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, what kind of? Just going. I, I, I swear for God. I swear for God. Yo, what you, <laughs> what you yo, said, Trip? Not the bottom out there, honey. <laughs> I drive a Dodge Avenger. Come on, come on. Uh, oh. 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 Why did I think you drove an Acura? I don't know why. But... <laughs> oh, shit. Because he looks like an Acura driver. My grandmother, right. my grandmother, whose birthday is today, she had an Acura for the longest time. Oh, happy birthday, Shout Grandma. Out to grandma. grandma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy birthday, Rainy. Grandma. Now. Like I said earlier, like she would <laughs> drive that Acura to the store, and like when she would get stuff for dinner, she would buy me like a wrestling magazine and be Raw magazine or SmackDown magazine and Aww. and all that. So yeah, she thought she thought drip. She thought you uh, was driving an Acura because she knew you fuck with Fast and Furious. She thought you were <laughs> out in the parking lot fucking tuning that no. shit up. No, no, I drive a Dodge Avenger. It's just no. as close to Dom Toretto's Dodge no. Challenger. I mean, no. we're not What's gonna it? go by. Is that black snow? Like that didn't happen. <laughs> is that black snow is amazing. Yo, I tell you, Shelly probably be tripping, yo. She taking my spot next time. I, I'm taking the day off, yo. I swear. Is <laughs> 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 is black wait, is wait. black snow one of the name of the episode? Yeah, yeah. Go back to the rock. Oh, In two days, it'll be uh, no. the one year anniversary of Black Irish, my dad's debut. Oh shit! Peace to Big Mike. <laughs> Dripple H's grandma. Dripple H's good. Triple H is actually for you. You might have something there. Triple oh, H. God. That was a lot. Shout out to <laughs> Episode title <laughs> TMI. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Grandma. Oh, man. I ain't got nothing left. <laughs> Shut this shit down, dog. Jesus Christ. It's only been like 15. I was going to say, like, I mean, it's. it's, it's 15 I'm minutes not... and 15 inches? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you had to come on, come on. The drip is the game the game's on a commercial, right? That's what's going on. Nah, right right now there's fifty seconds left. Uh the Jesus. Niners are marching down the field. Is 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 the last fifteen minutes of what we've been doing better than yes. the last fifteen minutes of the game? 
No, I guess about six minutes ago, Brock Purdy did some trickery and found George Kittle for a touchdown. So, uh, but then you stop watching the game oh, and talk God. about 15 inches that you've been getting out the bottom. Hey, yo, see, it mesmerized. All right, just start the show. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Say, say, say less. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to BRP. If you've been watching for the last 15 some odd minutes, you can understand that uh, God has been working on us all goddamn year. 2023 is probably going to be a bunch of, the same, <laughs> bunch of the same bullshit. As always, it's your boy, Cal. I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel you. As you can see. The squad is on the line. Mimi, a.k.a. that wrestling chick. Please say what's good to the people. What's good to the people? Mm. What's good to the people? Ain't that the background of Wild Thing? <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Wild thing. Wild thing. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Push it. Then he go in to push it. Push it. In the 80s, they was just breathing heavy. Push it. Push it, push it good. Push it. But push it real good. <laughs> they was dancing for about oh, four minutes. Oh, roll, baby, Paul. Hey, <laughs> damn you. Come give me a kiss. Better make it fast or else I'm going to get you. Know you can't. You're not going to sing that. You damn. <laughs> How you salt, pepper, and spicy at the same time? You got the next thing. Calm down right now. I don't like them hey, shows. Cuz used to hit this. <laughs> Uh, he used to hit this so dance when he would be like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit, I wish I could do that. Shit. <laughs> That's classic. That's classic. <laughs> oh, you ain't do that? No, I ain't do that. You a liar. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, know, I definitely didn't. Do I know it's video I footage. Hey, I, I'd like to see you that. got it. I'd like it's to see that. <laughs> <laughs> said, parties at the fun house. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> they still performing. I saw them on, on, on IG. Males, what's up, males? They still males. doing uh, males. If we, um, males. Males, make sure you outside. Um, come, come January twenty first. Was it twenty first? Yes. You make sure outside. you outside, males. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, man. Swing. Uh, ill fan 79 oh, on your social media choice, aka the baby, an 80s baby. I taught y'all niggas how to pod reimburse me. Nick. <laughs> collection plate, right? right. Actually, collection plate, yeah. Drop a little bit in there, Cal. What's popping? I just try to keep the kids on that free. shit. Uh-uh. You know that that OG shit. Mm -hmm. Cause it feel good when everybody look decent. And I ain't got time to rumble. Cal, cause if I get knocked out, then they ain't trying to hear that I stumbled. Mm. At Math Damon. Uh, if you so get knocked. No, I'll pull out fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you get knocked out and I got video of it, I can't Liar. post it, right? No, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. Make them look like tits. <laughs> we talk about it in our skits. Damon. He said, cuz pulled up to the game. He ain't Damon. Shared. He had the same clothes on. He said, yo. <laughs> no, those stories stay where you found them. Facts. <laughs> I still got one on the phone. <laughs> Never <laughs> get now. <laughs> and I am your favorite Vanilla King, the finest white man in the wrestling podcast, the sensitive lover boy, the certified sad boy. Cut this the, nigga's mic. <laughs> the J white boy of BRP, Davis, aka Drip. Damn it. Fuck. What the fuck? I who white what? Can I ask a question? The white king. When, when Bullet, what? he said he said the Vanilla King. The Vanilla King. That's right. When Own it. when when Bullet Club the and Vanilla Under Club. Armour get together and make clothes like this. <clears throat> Hey, do you think Jay White Boy get money? Like, do you think he get money yeah. from Under Armour? And B, who make the money? Like, do Young Bus get paid off of this, or is this New Japan? New Japan, because they own the Bullet Club name. Yeah, yeah. the Young Bucks can't make any more money off of Bullet Club oh, unless you... they're mar- unless they're um. <laughs> 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 this nigga said the Vanilla King. He I said, said your favorite Vanilla King. No, no, no. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Don't know what that means. He's my favorite. No. This going to be Drip my at Wale Mania. <laughs> on stage. By itself. Is, By that, itself. The, is that the Spider-Man pose? Though? Fat, yeah, for real. Yeah, he did a whole, he did a whole shoot. Uh, he's, he's looking for the 15 inches. <laughs> so, uh, before, it, it's rare that we get like, uh, it's rare that we get like news news that pops <clears throat> off before uh, we start to record. Is 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 there any confirmation on what's going on with Sasha Banks right now? Right now, it looked like she's looking at us. <laughs> that, that, that wouldn't be the first time. I hope so. Would not be the first time. Salutes to you, Mercedes. Uh, now nah, the report, Fightful Select is reporting that uh, Sasha Banks and WWE finalized whatever they was finalizing back in the summer, which I guess is what wrestling inc was reporting um and that sasha banks is free to go as of the top of 2023 i've as of right now i can recheck but i've not seen anything from sasha i've not seen anything from mercedes or wwe that would say that this is uh official is, 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 am i wrong in that is there chat anybody is there any new news they don't they don't do i don't think they do future endeavors no more right ain't no more uh the, they yeah they the last things they were doing was just announcing lists of people who were released. Um, <clears throat> I can't think of the last time there was a was Braun Strowman future endeavor. Yes, I think you would. That last round was the last round. I'm trying to think of the last time there was a solo. Chat, help me out. Somebody in there got to know. But either way, no, so, I mean, did they do I mean, anything besides Mandy Rose? Yeah, did they do anything yesterday? <laughs> well, how? Uh, uh, what? What? The Mandy Rose thing, and again, that was another. I saw that on a fightful select or a fightful tweet as well. And the only comment that came from WWE, if I'm not mistaken, was that she was uh, in. It was conduct. Whatever, whatever, I'm becoming to or a, a conduct not in her contract or whatever the hell was going on. Um, that menu of whatever options she had on <laughs> the have it your way menu. It's a lot. So what you do on. is you put Mandy Rhodes in the put Mandy Rhodes in the tub. 
and then two months later, that's hooch. Bathtub hooch. Do that shake for for forty dollars. The name of the episode is "How to Make Bathtub Hooch" <laughs> with real hoochies. <laughs> Mandy Rose selling forty dollar forty dollar mirror pictures. Mandy Rose is doing a lot. But and and I will. <laughs> hey, do you got the? You don't got the menu? You okay? Pull up the menu. Uh, we got. I mean, cause, I mean, I just want to. No, no, no. Yeah, let me. Uh, <laughs> no, if you if you, you throw the menu to, up, you just no, want to. Yeah, I'm curious. Bro, like you know, what I mean, I went to Chris last week. Throw the menu up. We'll, we'll take chat, two of those. One we'll of those. We'll chat. Uh, buy what's on the menu. Like, I, well, I, like, if I'm, I think you have to be subscribed to her whatever. Fan time? Yes. I what think is, you have why to. Why is she on fan time? Like, is it? I, it, it I, was I, she probably. trying to get around like the uh, only fans? Metal, they were like, no only fans. She was like, okay, no only fans. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> fan time, fan time machine. But yeah. remember, that was the thing, right? It was, it, it was, was it last year? Was it the yeah, year the when, year when they they were really um. Clamping down on what people were doing in on Twitch because Twitch was popping and, and cameo and all that stuff. And they wanted, I guess the, the idea was to make sure that people weren't uh using the WWE trademark names on some stuff that WWE wouldn't act wouldn't exactly know what the hell was going on. Where the hell I gotta and get also, into when they Here sign a go. contract, they get like there's a there's a like they get an some people get an advance and then there's like a minimum guarantee that you have to pay back right like, right and so once you start having outside revenue it's harder for them to get their money back it's it's, it's in, in, income that they can't report on That's essentially right. so um you do know, we know I, mm-hmm. was, I'm sorry do we know if she was like was has there been any word on how much she was making off that. I heard um, that it was like she was making upwards of four million dollars. Four million. Stop it. That that's I don't I don't know if that's confirmed, but that's off, what I heard. off the fam time. Mm-hmm. I mean the the content that I heard that were cool. very explicit, and people were paying for these. Yeah, of I, I, they they the people. I just I, I, well that's I. I, I think that's the th- <laughs> and they want oh, man. That's cat work. Is that cat I, work? That, I mean, that's that's hustling, right? I mean, like, it, it, it is it, for for that line of work, and it is work. That's right. It is work. That that she you, you could be a lot worse organized than. Hold up, let me pull this menu up. I'm sorry. That's four million. That that's. I, I'm not gonna. I don't know if there's a way to. In, I you if you can see what you can see. That should say toe photos for fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's it's is four that different like appetizers. Ca- so the starters, right? So appetizers. That's what I'm toes, saying. You got all right. I'll take two feet, of these. Uh, like, we have someone on the way. They'll want this one. Right? Toes, feet, small sports bra. You know what I mean? That way you get your little side titty and stuff. Is um, this, has they, this been confirmed? Is this, is this listed gym content? That wait, means wait, wait, wait. Sweaty back and cry. Video sent from sub. Subscriber oh, subscribe. Because I'm not, I don't want to pay $25 to rate somebody else. Oh, hold on, hold on. She said, <laughs> she, she goes, you got to send her $25 in a dingling picture. Yes. She'd be like seven. Like, that's yeah. ill. Like, what yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah. No bullshit. Yeah. Boy, if she hits you with the if she hits you with the shrimp joint, <laughs> I ain't pay for this. I will say this: if you, yeah. oh, 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 I, the 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 one menu option that stood out to me, obviously, again, assuming that this is actually what's up on the fan time, I, I'm not paying no forty dollars to see what's going on. Ass video. The slow motion, is slow motion, complete juvenile? ass video is crazy. Is that what uh, juvenile? <laughs> Yeah, you get a custom slow motion complete ass video with you. Now, WWE ring gear being able to request content in ringer again, if that that's dicey as fuck. Hey, yo, the G string bundle for a stack is insane. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so 
That menu Yo, is so brazen. Is, the gear is market price like lobster. Market price. Yeah, market price is crazy. That <laughs> like market lobster, price. Like you said. It's very, oh, very, very Yo. smart. I mean, oh, but Lord, it's, listen, it's oh, a Lord. lot of it's a lot of workers out there. You can take your thousand dollars and get you a real woman. So my question is, who shows up to take half of that eighty five dollars? For eighty five dollars, there's with friend content. Oh, what, what do we? Who we see? <laughs> Whoever dick you rating? Uh, <laughs> who she cool with? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you have you know to why, but Xavier Woods right? before. But all right, I'm back. you're like, no, nah, I seen this one before, and yeah. I think it, it will probably we'll probably start to. Nah, this is the sequel. The sequel. I, she was cool Ladies with Brad Maddox. If I'm not mistaken, she was cool with Sonya Deville. Okay, Chris, when nah, she was I, on the main okay, roster. Hey, you say 85. All right, Sonya Deville. Someone got a one hey, yo, and leaked those. Look at, look, That's crazy. Look at work. Look at work. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, Sonya, I believe didn't didn't her and Sonya they did they like right uh... <laughs> damn, damn. That man two <laughs> what you mean two niggas said well I said like I'm telling I don't like this I'm telling drop a dime on all y'all right. right. <laughs> she actually oh. what well, Underscore wait. Levesque at WWE. Fam, wait, go back to that Rock comment. Because <clears throat> Rock Rock mentioned that she has a fiance. The one thing that oh, I read is... That who, is I'm not, don't, you can't have another a nigga in the video. The Hold one up. thing... Well, that was what I read in the post was that yeah. one of the um one of the series of, of photos or videos was them in the shower. I don't think it was full-on nudity, but you could see them risque in the shower but people people pay for only fans it sound like it's that just on a on a grander scale Can't hey put a one up somebody put a one up in the chat if you plan for only fans what yeah. does risque mean uh yeah. it means uh, a waste a of money <laughs> risque it, it, slightly in song bundle Slightly yeah. indecent and liable to shock, especially by being sexually aggressive uh, suggestive. His risque humor, yeah. PG thirteen. Yeah, you, sexually suggest. <laughs> so like you, you could probably. It's like it's nude, but like like the Janet Jackson cover on the the Rolling Stone, where she was like this, and dude was covered. That's yes. Risque. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was goals. it to you, Matt? What was it to you? What was risque? No, what was that? No, what was to you? what was that cover to you? Why you look like? Oh, that? nigga, I snuck to look at that shit. <laughs> See, <laughs> he was in the. Cl no, but we talking about nineteen ninety two. Right, that was a, it. Was a minute ago. It was a minute ago. Skinamax, like, that's what right. Is, what is risque in twenty twenty two? That menu is aggressive. Extremely aggressive. I'm assuming that. Uh, yeah. Assume... <clears throat> I will say this. I mean, I, I I understand WWE releasing her, releasing her after she just lost that title after 400 <laughs> some odd days. She was, uh, I mean, w when she went to NXT, it was probably one of the better moves to NXT because she was on the main roster looking like she should have been she in NXT. She was a bum. She yeah. was with Dana Brooke, right? Like that was her that was her tag team partner for a minute. And they were looking like they both needed to be back down in NXT. And I will say, eat, say what you will about her in ring at this point, but the character or the toxic attraction or whatever, like they ran that <laughs> shit. Once mm -hmm. she started moving, mm -hmm. I I mean she they were probably they, I, I would they were, I don't want to say they were reluctant to let her go, but they were probably like, damn, because that looked like money walking out the door after all that time. You know they they spent invested with her down there, but uh, you know if if that menu is what that menu is, and the right person saw it, shit. If she got four million dollars off of um <clears throat> all four mirror picks, slow motion, Yo, complete ass I was video. Like, wait, what? Like <laughs> all four, y'all some nasty niggas. That it sounded like. It's it's so specific. Yo, the the transaction has to be ill, right? <laughs> it I, looks like my man with the with the twenty dollars. Hey, hey, hey! She sl <laughs> slided door. Hey, what would you like? Uh, I would like a slow motion complete right. ass video, please. Right. 
<laughs> you got you got thirty dollars with the toes. With the toes. <laughs> That'll be twenty extra. I want to see how ten ninety nine. Like yo, I'm not. That's you really? That's really the appetizer. <laughs> yeah, that's the appetizer. Hey yo, oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, y'all niggas can't eat the appetizer. She you got said, four million from Google she, Images. Wait, what was that? What was that comment? I'm sorry. Kofi Jamal said, "Peace, BRP." I think she should have gotten a long suspension at least. They let Hogan back. Uso DUI. We're seeing people talking about that. And that Riddle. Get to that. I mean, right. Riddle. Riddle so, got popped for a drug test, and you ain't even hear about it. You ain't know. Let's, let's talk. But let's talk about how firings are handled in pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. People get fired and eventually come back. Sometimes <laughs> what's done is performative, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Slap on the wrist type stuff, yeah. Like, no, right. Sometimes right. you have to let, gotta let it go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Think- we bring you back, and that, and that could be the con- con- conversation. It could right. be, hey, take that down, or we gonna get rid of you. She was like, I ain't taking that nothing. All right, that's you gotta what go. it was. But that's <laughs> what it reportedly it was. Sitting on her, her yeah, piles I'm of not. money. I'm not getting well, shit what, off of this internet. No, no. What I'm saying is, a lot of a lot of the people that they bring back. Mm-hmm. Have something to like it's something that they can offer. What can she offer anything? This is a legit question. It's but not she bad. wasn't doing bad on the way out, like so. That's the thing. Is this is what I'm saying. She bad? the meals put it. I, I think for for a lot of people, especially with N- N- NXT over the last year, she really went out on top. I mean, it's not like she, she was. I, I believe it was days away from beating Shayna Baszler's. Uh, uh, Reign as, as NXT Women's Champion. Wait, wait, wait! But and like what was just said, like the investment they spent in her by making her that longest right, Creek. Like they were willing to go all the way with her at some point, so she can then move up to the main roster and be a better threat than she was prior, with kind of more experience, a better gimmick with Toxic Attraction and all that. But so, so then was the, was the conversation? Was the conversation like, yo, you got to take this down or take it easy on these? And then she was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. And so she turned up. That's I, what I heard. Oh. That's what I heard. Said. And then it was, well, you got to go because you, you're you you're openly defying us now. You know what I'm saying? Well, you are, also, uh, I believe, insubordination is what they use in offices. Right. Uh, yeah. But also, Mattel pulled it pulled her like they were they don't play that Mattel is a is a children's brand right she has a doll is that on the list in your in your contract outside of these partnerships you have a clause in your partner in your in your in your contract like it is what it is yeah you yeah reaching contract hey do you think the niggas that was subscribing had her doll and was like can you touch here (laughs) and here Yuck. Again, Oscar's reign was 522 that's not funny. days. That's not funny. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Put your hand down. Rose's was 416. Put your hand down. Rose's was 416. Push the, the top down. So, yeah, so Mark, Mark. Mandy would have had the second longest reign the third, in NXT. The third. The third. No, she, she, currently she, as a, she could have passed, yeah, and had the second photo. longest reign. I might be missing some shit. And not I'm, always, I'm always missing some shit. Mm hmm. Because I, I come as the contrarian most times. No, no, no. But of course they're not okay with the uh, with this nasty Miss Sean. Come on now. The that's, that's Mandy true. Rose, Mandy Rose came in to me. She came in as the blonde yes. that they used to, you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. used to be the prototype for the WWE. Right. They saw that they were going away. I'm guess moving away from the prototype, so they shipped that ass. They shipped that ass back to what's his name, <clears throat> and then they blew her up. Right. She got over. I don't know if they blew her up or if she if it's one of those things. I didn't follow Toxic Attraction. I'll, I'll say this: anytime I tuned into NXT over the last year. She toxic attraction is the women's division like there you yeah. at some point you got to see them because they she had the title and gg and what's the face had the tag title but why Jane. is it because she looked like that and they could put yes. her on i mean i think i think i, 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 I think 
I think that's where that starts. Yeah, she I, I, she's not a bad looking woman. No, no of course that's why not. she. Her looks outweigh her talent. That's right. Of course. Yeah. No, I, I agree. So what? Hey, y'all think y'all think Otis was subscribing? <laughs> oh, Mandy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, here. <laughs> Let's hey, hey, Mandy, hey, Mandy. <laughs> How much for the, if if I want the uh, all the you know, and you go back there and do the thing with the whoo? How much for that, girl? Oh, this is why we ain't getting no sponsor. <laughs> because it's oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. John, I, can we not do this? Can we not do this? Can we not? Could we not try to like double right. down? Like, yes, there is what, a lot of double standards. Yes, there is a lot of double standards. Yes. I, I, nobody's denying that, but it is what it is. And what are we saying? Like, hey, which one we... of y'all niggas had a woman open the door Wait. for y'all last time y'all got in the car? About what are we saying? Like, what double we... standards exist. Get over it. I'm it just... is what it is. Like at the end of the day, she was she was on all fours. I don't even think they had a problem with her being on all fours. It was just the door. For a million, she was like, <laughs> right. If, if 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 it's for a million, I mean that's a big deal, especially if WWE's not getting a cut and she's Mandy Rose in ring gear again, based off of what that menu. You think they're going. like, so how much you making? She's like, uh, you know, around four million. Four million, like, well, you know, it's. Pr- I think they were like, listen, take it down. You know, you can't be doing this. Take it down. Now and they would have probably taken her off TV for a little bit and th- th- let it die down, like they do everybody. But because she, people wanted to see her, we're not going to deny that she sucked. But people wanted to see her, and they amplified God, that people on, wanted to see her. That was the whole point of toxic attraction. Like we're stick her again. She can't work that well with these other two Local women. Mirrors. That's and right. They'll just. Again, it'll be good looking women who wrestle because that's right. Shawn Michaels' way of thinking. But she uh, said no. What, 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 what my thing is, yeah, she looks important, Rock, in NXT after she came from the main roster. 2.0 back NXT. So, what happens when she moves from NXT back to the main back roster? To the main roster? It's not football. important no more. Mm-hmm. She don't look like a big deal. Mm-mm. Because she yeah. can't, she, the talent isn't there. Okay. Yeah. It's Again, this is 2.0 NXT. She wouldn't have gotten that run with Triple H at the helm. She would have been a contender. But the whole point of Triple H's NXT was Amber Moon, Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Ray Ripley, like Kyrie Saint, wrestlers. I agree. It didn't matter their looks. It was, I, I, Michaels I, got the helm. It was about the aesthetics. I know. I, I, six foot five football player look, or again, like Matt said, these blonde. <laughs> Bombshells of, but let's not 2000s era. At some point, though, those motherfuckers gotta make the jump from NXT to WWE. Right. Let's let's not act like Sean and Triple H is are not communicating. I, I I don't know what what Triple H is trying to build, but I wouldn't be surprised if he would have been okay with a Mandy Rose being back. They got maximum male models and all time. Well, he wanted shows. her to go back to NXT. That's that's probably going. probably pick it up in the ring a little bit more, but instead he lost control and she. She hits one move better than she did before. Like everyone says, it's the V trigger. That's the only move oh, she can right. hit. That's where right. it's like she's not fucking up because she's the only one doing it. That's right. Famously, we covered, I think, like my second or third episode on BRP, like the match she had with Sonya Deville, and she couldn't lift the table. And like it was like a struggle for her to just set up the table. And you ever pick one of them motherfuckers up at the family? No, but it's it. But then like the whole match like was horrible. You ever see? You ever see MJF try to get up out of a bridge? That's we'll get to that a little bit later. <laughs> oh, it, later. It, 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 that's not the thing, though, right? It's the same. It, I mean, I'm not saying this is it's a no, that's what happens when you just want to talk transition. all day and not wrestle. That was a good transition. Man. I mean, I'm just I, I rewatched the match earlier. I was like, I cannot believe the, the, that was a good transition. Calamity of errors. Needs to get back in that ring. Stop spending time talking. Your man needs to be wrestling on my the, man. What do you wait a minute? Wait a minute. Hey, my man, I don't know that man. And I do? Me. You think us white people just hang out all the time? I'm not Y'all saying don't? That. <laughs> like, come on now. I'm not, not saying don't. that. 
I'm not saying that. What I'm hey, saying no, is before, no, before we transition, question. yo, before, before we transition, I did want to tell the folks. Go ahead. Um, we we did have some discussion this week about a really big project coming up. Um, I'm I'm really excited about it coming up. It is the um, lifetime tells the BRP story. <laughs> Coming up, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's gonna be black great. Wrestling. I cannot wait. It's gonna be an amazing show. You know, it's what two mean? cows up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a fam and a cow. Get out of here. That's a fam and a cow. Get out of here. You I can't wait, shit. man. I'm super excited about that. Really Yo, shit. he looked just like you. <laughs> you wasn't around for that situation. Yeah, piece of I, shit, I still don't think you can use the image that family is for me. What you mean? Why? Because he's because he's, he's half black. Half black. Yeah, he's half black. On I mean, show. unless the paternity test from math says no, he's what, my father. Like, what did he say? He's white. <laughs> he's white. white. George Wallace. Did say he is white. He's white. He was white. Yeah, he didn't get that scholarship, did he? <laughs> yeah, man. Look, a so, white man would have got the scholarship, right? Yeah, man, check your local listings. Um, you know what I mean? We really looking forward to it that night. Uh, they're gonna play the um, they're gonna play the uh, kid and play story right before, and then <laughs> right after that, it's gonna be the uh, life and times of redhead kingpin. It's it's gonna be an action packed night. <laughs> to the right back. Wait, know who redhead kingpin is? <laughs> Rock does. He does. <laughs> Rock does. Mm. Right hey. <laughs> what is this one cover? Why is why was he with a group called the FBI? Yeah, got to do the right yeah. thing. Do the right thing. Puppy, yeah. puppy hottie. Yeah. Why are you saying like that? Yo, that because he was real. Yep. <sighs> what? Yeah, That's how you look when you was real. Nigga said, put that on bounce right now. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus. Zeus Red, cut the check. <laughs> Redhead Kingpin. He really is Jason Weaver, though. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, girl. Ah! Oh, shit. Nigga, that's you. Nigga, that's you. Oh, I just can't wait. That's that you. Don't, that don't look like the rain of red carpet right there. Like, that's like out of character, like fresh out of Johnny Boy. Hold up. Like, wait, hold up. Just, this what? and this, <laughs> nigga, that's you. That's same. you. This the same <laughs> nigga. I don't like. Nope. I don't like. Damon it. Weaver is is going on the list for the name of the episode. Right. I don't give nope. going no, sir. On. I don't you like. You didn't have to use the thing. Like, and my ears were pierced at that time too. So yeah, that. Nah, right. that, that yeah. this is perfect. With your haircut right now, drip. That's you. Yeah. That's you. You. I don't <laughs> like, know if you want. I have never been more attracted to you in my entire life. That was Jesus. amazing. That was amazing. I was like, oh, they fucking did it. Like, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I apologize. Um, do we want to? Do we just want to go here? I mean, Ugh. Ugh. this is a. Uh, Hey, cars, you ain't never do that, yo. No, I did not. You are lie. No, no, I could dance. I know. <laughs> I know you could dance. Yeah. You to... <laughs> That's it right there. That's it right there. All do it again, man. With the fact that fans said, I can cut a rug. That's this. Like, He's got to do it. Right cut a whole rug. Cars can dance, motherfucker. No, I've I don't always heard. I can't remember dance. what what we were talking about that led to that. And I was just like, never. I was like dumbfounded. My, my, I want to go to a go go. I want to go to another go go. My aunt was like, <laughs> "You see your cousin? He's like, he's out there fucking it up." <laughs> is, is he calling drip? Actually, Bebley said that. Ah, that Bebley. that makes sense. Oh, that Bebley. Makes sense. Bebley, yeah. yeah. He is fucking it up. Yo, Horrible shout time. out to Action Man Dreddy, yo. M- MCW champion MCW got some champion. shine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Apparently, Chris Jericho saw him on Dark and, and got excited and said, I'm he looked like Chris Jericho. Over. 
<laughs> when I watched the match, I'm like, yo, he kind of that nigga look like, like Patrick sure. Mahomes. He looked like Patrick Mahomes. See, I'm looking at him like, is he Italian? It, yo, I listen. I he we we <laughs> saw um, part, nigga. I was, yeah. I was adding MCW I, I was with Doc. Say, shout out to Doc. Um, and I I'm actually like, hey Doc, is you sure he ain't? Yeah, you know, is like, he you know, black? Know, I might do have a Mike Tirico situation going on, or like I mean, a who? Yeah, Mike Tirico. Oh, who? Mike, 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 Mike. What you say? I didn't hear you. There you go. Or Tam true Pico. romance. The he whole. Said Tam Pico. He said Tam Pico. True romance when he has the whole speech. Christopher Walken and who the fuck is True Romance? And Dennis Hopper. You ain't never the seen True Romance? Man? The video game. If, they made, if they made a True Romance video game, that'd be crazy. It's in L.A. when you ride around as the cop. If he you, do you, look like he about to beat the Bills that's in the AFC now. Championship that's game, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you racing. Action ends ready. How can I be racist if he don't look no race? He every race. I think he's supposed to look all the races, right? He's ambiguous. Yeah. I don't see color like PM Don. Like is that is that what it's supposed to be? Because I mean, what's he's supposed? To, what is that his character? Like what's all what's the Andretti? <laughs> Andretti is what? And, as a I'm race car niggas. driver, right? Benetton that's hard man. That's <laughs> I'm Benetton <laughs> man. So he's Batista. Batista's very ambiguous. Shouts to Batista. Been, a lot, it'd, be, uh, it'd be a lot of racial makeups going on. And at some point, it's just like I'm everything. Shout out to Lash LaRue. Yeah. yeah, yeah Piece yeah, of Lash LaRue. Um, Action Mahomes. Action Mahomes is funny. Mm-hmm. No, but that match though, was interesting because it goes to commercial right after he kicked out. I'm like, why did this match... <clears throat> Like, why is this match going to keep going? And then after the commercial break, he starts to mount a comeback. I'm like, are they really serious right now? Like, that's Chris yeah. Jericho. You, you got, you, you got to do that. No, I knew he was winning. I knew he was winning. You know, halfway through, I'm like, are they really going to do like the first. the Santina Morella? Like, he, yeah. That, I'm like, I can't believe they're really going to do this. Like for this guy, and he gets the all elite graphic like we just saw. I'm like, well, it's smart. Right. I mean, why not? He's supposed to do that. Well, that's no, no, no. But I mean, just now, like, not one of them Creole niggas, right? That's what he is, right? Is he? Yeah, the nigga said he buried you bury his drawers in the yard. He can't win the match. What? He went them Geechee boys. Yeah, he went them. I'm out. The day of the Geechee is over. <laughs> is it, who is AW's newest signing? I don't know none. I didn't know who he was until he popped on last night. Yeah, but again, from the, he from the land. Yeah, he, he was he was a he's an MCW Pro Wrestling Training Center. Uh, yeah. trainee before he, he only been pro, he's like three years in the game. I didn't realize that. That's crazy. Lane. Oh, wow, he's young. And wait, he's the current MCW heavyweight champion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I so I saw him win it. We yeah. was there when he won it. You're gonna see him lose it. I mean, because he, he his, this he ain't this losing thing. that shit no time soon. You, you, you can I never know how, what that what that situation is like when you go. Right, uh, and sign with the company because I like Nyla Rose, <clears throat> she was holding some title, and then when she was going to AW, it's it's time to lose the title when you're, when you're going in. Or it's mean, like, like this is kind of how it goes, it depends, you know, like um, Chris Bay, shit, mm-hmm. even um, main man, uh, Keith Lee, old partner. Yeah, swole. They, they they held they held the titles even while they were in there, wrestled right. a couple matches, and then eventually lost. But they still held those titles and went back to defend them and shit. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think it's, uh, years thing, right? it's yeah. like a publicity thing, right? Yeah, like yeah, yo, this just, a- was just on TV. Come see the nigga that beat Chris Jericho. Clean right. well, right. action, action and ready. I mean. Jericho just gave this man like such a, a great Christmas bonus. Like yeah. I, I can imagine the bookings that he's gonna be getting right now is gonna be nuts. Doc totally helps. Helps. So you in. Thank you, Doc. Pre- Send me email, Doc. Like no, DM anything him. you know about DM him, Doc. Blackrasson at gmail.com. You can send me anything you want on action and about to fill you in. And the DMs. S- send me <laughs> But this probably helps like MCW build a relationship with, with AEW to be like a place to send new talent to that talent. Like, kind of. No, it's again, always niggas there. They're gonna send NJ. Mm. No, but that's what like in MCW has send your produced man. what Chris. I mean, I'm Leo Rush, and Leo Rush just won Best of the Super Juniors tag. Yeah. Earlier this week, a whole so. lot of niggas. Yeah, yeah. 
I just can't think of them right now. But it's been a lot of motherfuckers that came from MCW that, shit. That Fucking, um, you see, uh, that's that's Matt Matt Burner. <laughs> <laughs> Weed Man Wade. I can't, even, I can't even remember um, shorty name and shit that, from the land, too. Uh, Gia Scott. You see Gia Scott on Dark. Right. So it's a lot of motherfuckers that come. You just saw May Man on um, the next MCW champion on Raw mm. last week. Mm-hmm. So. Should be happening. Should be happening. Yeah. So MCW may be the feeder system. Who will see? I don't know. But yeah, shout yeah, out to Action Andrew. Yeah. Well, it's been the- feeding niggas for, for forever. This is uh, that was probably one of the better debuts I've seen in a bit. Again, only because, like, I think that the, the oh Jesus, um, <laughs> I think the thing is because they tell the story oh, of Jericho, oh Jesus, needing a tune-up match or whatever. I think is how they how they uh described it, and uh, so this could tell a story of him. Losing his way after losing the ROH yeah, on the downward spiral world title at final battle. Get him while, out of there. While you know, immediately making a uh, making this kid uh, uh, at least a name for 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 a week or two. Um, damn. So are we going back to the real? I mean, are we going? Is this the real? That's the real. Yeah. I. When's the next time he's going to wrestle? I'm going. Will we over under? I mean, like, like what? Christmas is next week. Under a month. We think in in at least in the next three weeks, MJF is going to have a match. No. No, you don't think so. MJF, the next no. time. <clears throat> pardon me. MJF will wrestle before the Royal Rumble. Shit. Is the, the title? Does, any right. match. Any match. Yeah. It maybe mm-hmm. should be for the title though. No, like like at by the, he should be wrestling Brian Danielson for the AEW world title before the Royal Rumble. Is what you're saying? No. No, I just said he would wrestle. That's it. So, so it might be a tag match. When do you when's all right, so when do you think then when do you think he's defending the title next? The end of February. When when's the pay-per-view? I think it's the end of February. That's when Revolution early March. It's either the early March or, or the end of February. So you're saying if Revolution that's that's the Brian Danielson match? It is March 5th. Sunday, March 5th. The first week of March. That's that's three months. He'll have probably three matches in the next three months. We'll have a TV match that's like a title defense. We'll have a tag match, and then he'll have some probably one other random match. It's a tag match for sure. Yeah, the none of these are going to be against Danielson. Maybe one the tag, match. tag match. Yeah, will be involving Dan. Or so, again, go ahead. They have, but they have those. You know, they they don't only do the pay per view, so they have like a special battle of belt. They got beach right, play. January sixth. Yeah, beach break. Um, in that's February. Me. Yeah, that's around spring break. And then oh, Revolution, man. which is the actual pay per view, but ew, Sunday? Yeah, I guess football will be over. We ain't watching that. Oh, yeah, in March, yeah. <laughs> MGF is a wrap for the rest of the year for MGF Mielsen. But yeah, because I'm trying to think of who these people he goes is. Is it Brian Danielson and another member of the Blackpool Combat Club? It shouldn't be. It, it should just be them two, right? It's over, Lord Stephen Regal, right? And but it's he gone. He he. We miss my uncle Charles. Yeah, he gone. That's my uncle Charles. Uh, we should be gone. Boss A W. Boss A W. Sir, Lord Stephen oh. Regal is gone. Yes, yeah, he peaced out. He said, "Better believe all got it. Only you can lean on." <laughs> Every day, every day. Hey, yo, why his eyes went black like that, though? Because he, he died. He got touched. Domestic violence. Domestic violence. 
See you oh, at the crossroads. You know we lonely. See you at the crossroads. Cross I did see this. They said that Brian Dance is a new natty. He gonna that's, have to be. I kind of what he's there for. He, well, I don't know. Well, yeah. that that's that's what I'm trying to figure out is. Does he want to be? When yeah. I before I had to drink a steel reserve on this very <laughs> show. When are those till next week? I was told, <laughs> I was told, don't worry about it, Cal. He don't want the belt. Don't worry so, about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. So I was surprised when his music hits. And I mean, I get it, storyline. I understand why, but it's, that's not over the belt. No, that's principle. It's we, over Lord Stephen Regal. Principal. You, and but his, you don't. You don't. And think the thing is, I'm going to take the belt. And that's what your I, consequence. That's at some story. point, it's the like, title's got to pop up, right? Like, no, no, it, yeah. it the, the, the title becomes a consequence for yeah, MJF like. to lose. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? That it Daniel Bryan doesn't come in and like, I want to be the champion. No, no I want to beat you up because you stole my man and then you beat him up on the way out, right? And now he's gone. So they it should be have almost so a full year since he cared about the title in the first place. He lost he, him and Hangman Page had that 60 minute draw, then he lost in the 30 minute match. They didn't care about another title until it was the, the ROH title, and that was because Chris Jericho was disrespecting it. And the whole point was, I'm going to bring back honor to the title that you're dishonoring. I mean, everybody, but no, knowing that Brian Danielson don't want to care about a title match. But knowing that a title is going to come up at some point, even though it he is about a title about match, he doesn't care about him being the victor at the end of it. It sounds like he just cares about wrestling a match. Then, if the title if, if the title for him is nothing more than a prop or like a piece of a storyline and not something he actually wants to get, he don't really care about that title. He just wants to sell it, you on the drama of like him winning a title. I, that was the whole point of him and Moxley, like in I, that tournament final. I think like he you will, thought Moxley was going to lose and he was going to win, and I wow. didn't. I didn't. I did. Then why'd you make the sea reserve bet? But because I have to actually care at some point about this shit. Like at a, at a, like, I can't just watch pro wrestling and be a fucking curmudgeon all the time. Like last night, I knew Ricky Starks wasn't going to win. But what did I say? If that motherfucker win, we going live because right. that's there's no way I can wa I I could be watching. Motherfucking Starks in the in the in the main event. That's right. I'm a neighborhood legend. The town would go up if he wins the title. No, I but I know, but I, I have to. I at, there's times where I have to. I have to get invested because I have to remember why I care about things sometimes. That's right. That's right. The mf'er yo. I'm an mf'er. You're an mf'er. That was the point of last week's promo was to get you invested, but then did, at the end of it, you knew like shit. I know how this movie's gonna go because there's no way they're gonna change directions halfway through. That's what me and Matt told you last week and last night. Like Brian Danson was the plan the whole yeah. time. Ricky Starks was barely a speed bump. No, the goal was to make I, Ricky Starks look better. I, so when I, he comes out of this, to, he, I'm not calling him a speed bump. He is a planted seed. He yeah. is right, right. This is the guy you should like. This is the guy you should watch, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him in the front so you see him. Now I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna plant him over here, and you're gonna watch him grow. You, you, that's 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 the plan, and really, it's gonna make the story of Ricky crazy. It's supposed when, to, right? That's the that that's the hope. It's because, okay, it's but, but because because like there's an actual genuine care where like six months a year ago and we were like yo this should be happening like mad soon oh, yeah. and it felt it felt it felt like it felt either felt on deaf ears or niggas just wasn't ready to put him in that position. Um, that's what I was so saying, they that's injury jammed him up too. Yeah, yeah, he did get injured as well. No. Yeah, I don't right. think MJ had they still let back. him come on TV and cut yeah, promo. He was on commentary and and all that. He was his company Hobbs and Hook. But when Cal said, was MJF told to hold back Ooh. last week? I don't necessarily necessarily believe that. But I think the whole point of that one was fire. to make Ricky Stark shine more than MJF. Made me listen to that space. And he said that was all, you know, like off the cuff. It wasn't planned. They didn't orchestrate that. It wasn't scripted like how we kind of thought it would based on how mm. 
he was delivering it and all that. But I think MJF was told to go out there, say what he's supposed to say, and MJ and Ricky Starks is someone who can out talk MJF as we've clearly seen through his entire tenure and was supposed to shine so MJF can do the heel stick, Ricky Starks can spear him, hold the title, and then to the people look like this guy's next up and comer. Even though he has been that the last few years, but now since he's in the same ring with the guy who's the champion and the biggest star in Tony Khan's eyes, that was the point of elevating Ricky Starks last week. So whatever he does in the next six months, it all goes so, back to that. So really quick, so if you look at um Shelly's comment right here, it's not going to be dark. It will be rampage. They do use their mid card, but he's going to be running through that mid card. You will see that man with that god dang uh, TNT title sooner than later, I believe. Starks. Starks, yes. Yeah. They better rampage have. needs an anchor, and right now Orange Cassidy is the anchor with the All Atlantic title. Ricky Starks was sort of the anchor with the FTW title, and CM Punk was the first anchor in terms of like they built that show on his debut, and his first three or four matches were on it. Shout out to Aiden. I don't know what's going on. It's nice font that he got. <laughs> Friday Night Negroes is crazy. <laughs> so could be it could be app Negroes. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Could could be trying to pay for an app that they have to revive. I I mean part part of me, I'm I'm like I'm not excited for this. Mm. And it's not in the MJF telling you you guys are cheering me and now you're gonna hate it in a couple of weeks. Like I, I can see I I, I hope I'm I'm tricked. I feel like I, I got a good idea what's to come in terms of MJF not doing much but berating people. I just I don't know. I feel like there's other things that could be happening with this man right now that isn't Brian Danielson or whatever this story is gonna be. It ain't no other story, yo. Yeah. You could tell Wardlow right now. Wardlow's doing absolutely nothing right now. Yeah, but you have to, you have, this is the thing. What, like, you have to go and show old packages and video packages. You have to, that story is alive right now. They love that. They love old packages. What said last night was, I think, a good point, too, that we're, right now, Ricky Starks, is at the start, he can be the bookend of MJF's title reign if it all goes according to plan where MJF is supposed to be the reign of terror, rarely defend, cheat his way against the Danielsons, the Wardlows, the Darby Allens, the Jack, Jungle Boy Jack Perry's, and the whole time where he starts, goes to the mid card, carries that title, who's it rises up again and finally. I don't think Jack Perry's going to be in that group. He will be. That's why they're building him with. This feud with Big Bill and Lee Moriarty, he has to get some single star shine. You Big better Bill. have Jack Perry after Ricky Starks. Big Bill. If, if if MJF is the way MJF was looking the other night, if MJF is not feeling like a championship caliber person to some people, I don't know if Jungle Boy's that guy right now either. He ain't built like he, he's He's popping, but he's not built like Ricky is right now. It has to be. No, no. It got to be the big name. In ring. So it yeah. got to be. In ring, he's phenomenal. Be. In ring, he's in ring, that, he's got it. But you got to build the, the rest of it. Based off. It's got to be. It's got to be. Um, Dan if, Morrison. It's got to be Hangman Page. It's got to be Moxley again. Drip. That's what it has to be. It can't. It can't be Jungle Boy Jack Perry. If the company's built on in ring, you can't have MJF as your guy. You That's can't. The point of his whole reign, though. He, it, it's, it's, so he's I mean, messing up in the ring on purpose? Every, no, 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 no. That's what, I'm not, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking no, about. No, the company is is built on in, in ring. That doesn't mean that it has to, the face of the company doesn't have to be in ring. Yeah, with the exception of like your Shawn Michael era and your your, um, your Bret Hart era, the, the world champion in most companies isn't the super right. uh, work rate guy. Like that's just yeah, it's clearly it's like main main event is not the 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 match where you want to see the scientific oh yeah nah your main event right. is spectacle your main event is the big deal wow. and I, I think they spent they spent a great deal of the beginning of a uh, of AEW building MJF as 
a a, a bad guy, but but that guy that hangs in that main event scene. Mm-hmm. But and he lost. He lost for over a year. He lost yeah. and he lost and he lost. And like I said, this run is twofold. It's them paying off all those losses, but it's also them having built this guy to for the people to to hate for a year. We need that heel championship run because baby face, baby face world champion title runs mm-hmm. suck. No, one hundred percent. I I I agree with everything you're saying. I just wish he was a better wrestler in ring. I don't like he watching. Needs to wrestle more. No, I think I think you know what? I, I don't know if it's he needs to be better at wrestling. I think he needs to tighten up on there's things that he needs he, to tighten up on. He can change some things. He really had like his his wrestling, his heel shit is corny, but it's not bad. It's 80s. He's very, it's he's 80s. very much 80s heel. I get but it. I, so I is the it. But so I think that, that, that I that's think that's him. That, no, I, that's, that's him. That's him. I get yeah. it. But I think that if he can change his whole reign is going to be based off of his mics. Right. His right. mic skills. Of and course. He has to change that because motherfuckers may get tired of that shit quickly. It's tired now. Mm. I'm tired of it. I don't know about everybody else. I was going to say, I, think, I don't think that's that's I'm not, not the majority. Away. I ain't going away with it because what I'm saying is he if he can change that up, we can get past him not right. being the greatest in the ring. But he's giving us the same, same thing over and over and over again. So he's, he's, he's 80s heel in the ring. He's 80s heel on the mic. People can deal with the ring shit. We deal with we've we've dealt with motherfuckers that have been worse. Right. Well, he, again, he, he's not again. I, he's not dog shit. I don't want to say that. He he wrestled a main event with Ricky Starks. He wrestled a main event with Ricky Starks, but it wasn't like he was just standing there doing nothing. He did no. look tired. I'm no, he, he 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 looks like he gets a little gas to me from because he's not wrestling uh, like he should. Exactly. I, I saw the same thing in the CM Punk match. Um, was it the, the TV one? Where was that the one where they they stopped it? They, they, they yeah he the wanted and then they started the match. Five minutes, yeah. He he looked a little winded at a certain point. I I really I I genuinely I don't want to say he needs to be on some Mandy Rose shit, but I like if if like it's kind of like a, a a a baseball player going to the minors for a little bit. You know they're able to 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 put some work in, get some practice. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying throw him in MCU for half a year, but maybe he needs to be doing some more indie MCW, shows or something MCU. just just to get some reps in so but things just look a little cleaner. But you yeah. can't have you can't have the god dang uh, yeah, uh, AEW pro- champion going to indie events now. Right. right. Well, that's, that's out. That's, well, that's out. So, that, so I'm going to tell you the, the closest to what y'all want would be him going over with QT Marshall and Cody. Every once in a while, or whatever, because that's and, and putting some reps in, it, right? Yeah. But the, the thing is, I, what they need to do with him is tell good stories. Yes, yeah. it if they tell good stories because the the character is the character, correct? Mm-hmm. But you know he doesn't saying? have to be. You but you've seen them do different shit. But you just but like he's not. This is this that that is why the story can't always be. Um, you want the champ? You want the title? I want to keep it. I'm the bad guy. I'm gonna do it by any means necessary. I'll do right. something dastardly to win. It, it can't always just be that. So you have to have Lord Stephen Regal got uh, duff with the the, the the knuckle dusters and after he slid the knuckle dusters to him to win the belt. And now you 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 beat my mentor up. So the stories have to be the thing that changes right. because if not. The character has to have a base in what the character is. Mm. So the stories have to be good. And I think that is the most important thing of what they do. What you say, man? I don't even fucking know. I I was because this is this is why and I said I was going to bring it up. But this is why I've been asking about Danielson specifically in the Blackpool Combat Club. Not because I know I don't think that he's associated, but I think if if. 
I feel it would the, the the impact of him showing up would have been much greater if we were to visually see him a seeing the regal his reaction to what regal was saying and b seeing him with the squad because at this point I don't we we've not have we heard from Danielson in regards to what regal has said what, what happened with regal him getting attacked aside yeah, from him yeah, going think... out there he's not spoken on it that's next week's show right is is that official no that that's that damn what it is the, the, yeah, he I'm... better he better be on next week's show i think well, man, now let's, let's be honest no i'm just trying to confirm that's what i'm asking i'm <laughs> trying to understand the story i'm trying to right. see if they're actually doing also shit. be honest about this time of year in pro wrestling there ain't nothing Ain't nobody watching pro wrestling. You yeah. look at the ratings the last and both shows, everybody's ratings are down. I feel you. I feel you. stupor around now. But, but, but this dynamite was up from the last two weeks. But regardless, because they booked but, this the winter is coming though. Yeah. yeah. But but regardless, I mean that that's kind of that that's a it's a side bet when you just made this man your champion a couple of weeks ago. Like you I, I would hope that you would still at least I, I, I'm hoping that they got something here. Because like Fam said, if the story's not there, and I'm not 100% on this story right now because of the the, the Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson size holes in a lot of what's been going on leading up to this, I hope it's good, but it's I'm not feeling uh, like it is. So I don't, I don't that's all I'm saying. This is a story that Tony Khan cares about because that's why it'll go week by week by week. And same thing with the elite death triangle. That's why as soon as that was announced, there was going to be a best of seven. I'm like, at some point they're going to add stipulations and be down three, one, because it was so paint by numbers. They're booking so paint by numbers that you can know what to expect. Nick Jackson's a basketball fan. He wants to do. Hey, yo, how do y'all not complain anywhere near the way y'all niggas complain about MJF? How do y'all not complain about when they hand uh, 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 top ramen head the microphone? Did you? Oh, I did. Yeah. No, it was Ome- bad. It was bad. And Kenny Omega is the worst thing no, we that they know, do we, on a regular basis. We know he stinks. I don't. I didn't like that. <laughs> we all agree. <laughs> that. I didn't like that. Who are we talking about? Kenny, Kenny Omega. Omega. Kenny Omega. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, I said, I yeah. Uh, I didn't like that. that was I didn't it. mean to pick the microphone up, but now that I got it, let me. Who that was the worst part. That I was doing it for Remember this. Remember these comic Why you talk? I'm like so this like comic when, book, and you like that comic book. That shit's like ass. When Carlton stole, <laughs> it's like when Carlton stole a ball from Will and shot it. Like, I know you supposed Watch to take this. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said. Do, do. He, no, we know he stinks, cuz so it ain't no we all agree that he stinks. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I'm, it's, it's better left unsaid. Wait, wait, how about this? How about this? <laughs> how about this? When he when said, when it's he already, it's already known on arrival, like when he know, impromptu when he impromptu cut that promo last night, you could it, it you could tell that he's one of those guys where they should you maybe you need to have a, a pre-record and why well, uh, like Doc Callis is with them. I'm not and, good. No in facts. Two facts. Years, in two years, if they make Kenny Omega a heel and and put him with uh uh what's uh little uh Jimmy D. Cricket looking y'all. Oh uh, no, no, Malcolm no, no. Bivens. They put him with my nigga so Malcolm Bivens. Yeah, Malcolm Bivens. And um, be there in two years. He better not be there in two years. No man, listen. Not I'm fucking around with you. Big Bill. The way listen. Nah, what? he's one of their. Let me yeah. speak on Big Bill because it's Damn the it. second time that he's been referenced, and she's like, "What?" The he's fuck? he's he's one of their only consistent talkers. A Fact, lot Bill? of the folks over there Big can't. Bill? No, Stokely. No, Stokely. 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 He'll be there. Stokely. They and they make mention of Stokely. They they treat him like a Gary Hart. It's like he he's 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 a Jimmy Hart ass entity over yes, here. Yes, he'll he'll be there for a long time. He's but just he's rolling with some 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 suckers. I don't Big, think. Big Bill included. Man, I don't think he'll be there. Not on his own accord. Yeah, they're letting him do whatever he wants. But if Triple H is calm, he'll probably pick up again. But as we heard this week, right? Like he's already feeling away about the people he resigned. Like, oh, maybe this was the best decision. You know what I'm saying? Like the the Triple H, the people he's brought back. Like, oh, I shouldn't have uh, maybe brought the this person and this person back. Who knows if he feel that same way about Stokely Hathaway? Who knows if that's real? Yeah. You it's can kind of tell. I, I can kind of tell that there's a lot of times where what's the source and it's some wrestling account that a lot of people follow. 
No, but I mean, Karrion Cross. And I'm not trying to shame anybody that's actually getting quotes. I'm talking about somebody rest. Oh, mm -hmm. I heard that Triple H said that he don't like these people he brought back. Send tweet. Right. Well, actually, um... <laughs> then you look at the list. Johnny Gargano's on that list. Is Johnny Gar? He's all over Raw. He was in four or five segments one week. Is he talking about him? I don't know, but he's on the list. And now we're talking about fifteen different things that could and could not be happening. He could hey, be yo, talking about booking, somebody random. Who's booking the Miz and Dexter walking around Oof. with a goddamn pocketbook? Oof. No, isn't that done now? Listen, piece of Lord Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace what's his name? Vader. Stole it back, Miz. But who? That the whole. Yeah, we gonna carry this pocketbook. I don't that like is, that. That is that. If that ain't Big John Stud in a duffel bag full of money from forty years ago, <laughs> I, nigga. I was trying to understand what they. I'm like, why do I like? What, what's what am I really invested in right now? Like, That's why? What, what do I care about? Can like I? Somebody, let me ask Johnny you. Johnny Gargano's not a guy who's gonna wrestle every week because he has to go all out in let all me, his matches. Me, so like, they gotta minimize that. Let me ask a question. Take away because. Far and away, the best thing in pro wrestling right now is Sami Zayn in the bloodline, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. of course. So take that away. What are the top three storylines in all of wrestling? I mean, MJF has got to be one, right? Does it um, have to be? Heck of Leo losing. <laughs> but what's the story? That that happened, but what's the story? The nigga, the nigga came, the nigga took the title and ain't, ain't come to wrestle. He he went to wrestle and he and he beat his ass. That's the story to me. The top stories that shit happened today or Outside yesterday. Is that top? He said, "Shit, that's what I know." Nigga. And we're talking top story lines. You're saying mm -hmm. like I, like I, the stuff that's going on in pro. The like nigga showing up on WWE with a um with a another title, not showing up to the pay per view. And then showing up and beating the challenger still, and still a champion, going back that, to the WWE. But I, th like th the only pushback I'm giving is that more so feels like Backstage. an actual like news story, not a storyline. Oh, it's yeah. A Be well, because the the storyline is Tom and Tonga is the one who's going to take the title off him because he's correct. To and that started that changed. started last night or just tonight, whatever the fuck day it was. No, it's I mean, yeah, somewhat. I don't think hey, I watch wrestling too, motherfucker. No, no, I don't think Hikaleo is gonna be the one to beat Carl Anderson. Like he's it's, not. It's gonna be Tom yeah. Tonga. Shout out yes. to something else. They had all them niggas on the show. All of them, all of them, all, all of them, them. All of them. All the love lovely cells. Here my trophy. I'm, I'm I'm filling my trophy case now. Do all the niggas in there. Huss. <laughs> Huss. The, the, I mean, it, elite and in, 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 uh death triangle. Death triangle. You don't think that's one of the biggest storylines? It's a, it, but that it's that time of year. And my point, I guess, is mm -hmm. it's right now. I don't feel like anybody's doing a great job outside of the bloodline at telling stories. Like, right. I care about Sami Zayn because it's amazing. I care about uh, 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 Jay Uso breaking. I care about, you know what I'm saying? I care about everything that goes on there. But as Alexa far Bliss. as Alexa Bliss, no, that's turn, she did a little break. I, I hate that, actually. I hate, I don't want her to do the Bray Wyatt stuff. Oh, what's happening? I, do, I knew, I, I know. We saw that now because she yeah, did the little, there. and she put in Sister Abigail, but she, that was like Tamiria showed up. For a second, and then he was like, "No, nah, no, nah, I'm sober." Back My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like you know, what I'm saying it was like should've, she should have still hit the move. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Nah. You, you she still right. well, uh, wait. She was out of it. She said, "I'm sorry. I don't know what took well, over me." No, no, but remember, remember, Alexa Bliss wins the match. She's challenging Bianca for the title. Damn Bianca right. steps to her. They have interchange exchange of words. She bugs the fuck out. Is about to attack her. Yeah. And My fault, girl. I'm going to beat your ass next week, but my fault. I'm not going to do nothing right. I That's like when you snuck up on math and by the car. Like. I didn't sneak up. He just couldn't hear me. It was wrestling going <laughs> no, on. I, it I, was, I didn't know he was there. It was wrestling going on. He couldn't hear me. I no, did you say, hey, man. man. I, did, I was kind of like, ew, but he was too far. Yeah, it was wrestling going on. Yeah, and, and, and that's drunk. the thing. It was probably more like, yeah. 
So now, I am <laughs> I am shouting and it's like Amen. in Brooklyn. Amen. I am interested in this. Shout out to Rock. Um, if you notice, mm-hmm. I, uh, Oscar didn't come out with the green skeet on. You know what I'm saying? It was she just came out with the you know what I mean, like she looked when she was in in, in NXT with the regular face. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's turning into con- which is dope. I listen, but we. O- only thing we have in that story right now is her her, her face paint is gone. Everything online, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, so it's it's that time of year where we're gonna get a bunch of slow rolling stuff everywhere. Sense. People are listen. If you're looking during the holidays for uh, great pro wrestling, it's it's my man birthday. Go get some bras, man. You know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna say how how, how Cam said, but. <laughs> Go get some, you know what I mean? Go outside, man. This ain't the time for you wanting. Uh, wait, to... is that what is that they, they put the title on him now because ain't nothing going on in wrestling? No, no, no. <laughs> they're, they're, putting yeah. it, they're, they're putting the title on him now is because you got to tell that story over time. And like I'm telling niggas, man, I think, and, and like I said in the chat earlier this week, I think the Ricky Starks starts, Ricky Starks story starts here and his championship is the book in. Mm-hmm. He's the one who takes the belt off of MJF when it's time for MJF to move on. Um, Let me um, ask a question. Let me ask a question. Earlier that you had brought that up, and that's why again, these other seeds of Planet Along the Way will be like Wardlow, Jack Perry, maybe Darby Allen, people, Hangman Page, and Moxley, like Matt said, like people for MJF to beat and beat, you know, cheat to win constantly, and then Ricky starts to be the guy at the end, like, this is how it started. I'm going to be the guy who's going to end it now. Well, let me let me ask you a question, because uh, f- this is the second year. <laughs> what, crazy! This is the second year that uh, Ricky Starks and MJF have had have been involved at a uh, at a uh, winter is coming. Last year, it was well, the week they, they were involved. The week prior, he faced Dante Martin at Winter is Coming last year. That he fit drip. He faced Dante Martin at Winter is Coming. What happened at the end of that match? Ricky Starks interfered, right? Because it was part of the story. This I don't this year they were facing each other. Do you think it's gonna take until winter is coming 2023 for Ricky Starks to get the the world title? Texas. I'm I'm not saying that's how they booking it, but I mean I when I really when I sat and thought about the 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 parallels that they've had over the last couple of years they they like that stuff yeah they said winter is what that's crazy they put it and put it on how's it put it on Ward though I mean yeah that's not gonna happen they that's can't even take the that's... TNT title to put it on Hobbs and put it back on Ward though like I honestly think that it's gonna be somebody that we don't expect to beat MJF, MJF. Darby yeah. Allen Possibly is one of the I, pillars. I, I would say more so because it looks like they're trying to give they're trying to build them is is jungle jungle boy it's Jack jungle is either I, I, jungle I th- boy or somebody that's unsuspecting. It's either because jungle boy is very suspecting. I, I don't care what he, that's that he's gonna be he's a pillar, right? He, he, he's, he, yeah. he's a pillar he's far out. Sammy, he, he's got boy, time, he's Darby. got time. They they got they got to work on 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 the other side of him. He, he he's ready in ring. They got to work. And the on guy the standing next to him is still two years away, probably. And everyone thought he would be the next one up, and that's Hook. He's still far away. He's still super far away from. Yeah, they they the took Hook off TV when he had a run. He, yeah, he can't, understand. He's just walking out in hoodies and khakis. Like I'll help you up. It's it's that's the Dan Housen curse. Those and that's no, and I think he was supposed to be another anchor for Rampage. Was Hook. this is packages. a show where Hook will wrestle, awesome. and he needed to move on to Dynamite to get the bigger audience. Yeah. And like Matt said, they just shut down his run for whatever reason. Black Snow is funny. Um, so I guess that's that's the winners coming recap. Um, a you lot of the, Bobby Lashley got fired, <laughs> and then he got rehired. Did he get rehired? Well, didn't man rescind the fire? I didn't know that. I didn't either. Yeah, he I thought he, he just fired the nigga. I mean, he, he fired him at the end of Raw, and then he dropped a tweet or something, right? Who, Bobby Ashley? 
Who no, you talking about? Um, uh, uh, the, the bald head nigga. Scrap uh, Daddy AP. Scrap Daddy. Scrap Daddy. Scrap Daddy. Young Scrappy. Is he? I, I, I guess Daddy I got to confirm. Is I did not see that. Okay. I, I mean, because we we all knew we all knew Daddy it was uh, a storyline. Yeah, we knew it was yeah. a storyline firing. But it's it's this is this is how we get in the, the guy. Is he? Is he? Is he? He still face Bobby, right? Huh? Bobby Lashley is Bob is is Bobby Lashley a face after getting fired? Probably, but the white man fired him and had to give him his job back, so he may be the baby face right now. Hey, oh, I can't baby. think of a better catalyst for a black man to get pissed off with other black men than getting fired. You know what I'm saying? We saw fired. now. Going it was cool. bring back that anybody bit. outside of the four one zero when my cousin says fired, <laughs> he means fired. Yeah, yeah, he didn't say fur. <laughs> and I can't even say it right. Fart. I hope you know what I meant. And they got um, he ain't it was fart. cold. He didn't say fur. It you was know, cold as shit fart. on Monday. Did fart. you see after uh Byron Saxon was trying to have a conversation with Bobby Lashley after this shit went down? Bobby Lashley pissed off, you know, just came from the ring, sweaty, you know, just just got fired by his boss. Yeah, didn't say shit to Byron Saxon, went in the dressing room, shut the door. Opened the door, had one of them no logo black hats on, didn't have didn't have no shirt on, no jacket, just had his bags, and he left. I'm like, did he walk out the building? Do you have pants on? He, he had, had his rings. On. He had his tights. Yo, imagine yeah. a nigga cut you off in traffic. You zoom around to catch up out of the light to give him the middle finger, and Bobby in the front seat holding <laughs> <laughs> nigga <laughs> what with no shirt on. With no shirt on. That's how, that's how I leave my house sometimes. <laughs> that's how you be in the car. That's how I close the door. Mm. Close the door with just a hat on. I, I, let me chat. <laughs> chat. And, pol- I, and polo shorts. Chat. I'm not saying road rage, but I'm saying and air forces. Experiencing math in traffic. What the fuck is this? What, it's road rage. What y'all stop for? It's right. Yeah, it's road rage. Bitch, we got. I gotta go somewhere. I gotta get my coffee. Sorry, hey, Cal, you wasn't in there. Move. We was trying to get through got that <laughs> going down uh, canal. Oh, this nigga, <sighs> anger issues. I don't have anger issues, actually. Do you punch the the steering it was wheels? The whole, it was a whole police. It was. It was <laughs> they said, niggas they said this nigga different. <laughs> It was yo, it's a hundred niggas on the street. Stop. The police pull up behind us, boop, 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 with the little weird sound. Like, nigga, we where can we go? Right, right. Yeah, New York is stupid like that. What the fuck we doing? Where we going? New York he is want, he want me to move. Bitch, where the fuck am I moving? That's See? Right. where. See? Fuck you want from me. Bitch. Yeah, I try not to do that when the kids in the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, nine in the morning. Bitch. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. Stupid bitch. You feel me? <laughs> Try telling Shorty. Pull the fuck out my way, you stupid bitch. This feel, this, you this feel like you vintage can... BRP right here. Motherfucker talking about Shorty. Back before the stream yard. This bitch stupid. Like a whole dumb. Corvette. That's it was shit. like that? That's real shit. Nigga, when I had the when I had the nine two nine, just, uh, this nigga was wilding. It was wilding, reminiscing right now. Hold Way on, back. I had to explain to my my kids what a what a cassette tape was. <laughs> I hate that conversation. I'm trying to explain this shit. Like we on a we on a road trip, right? Mm. My grand, we going to we going to Disney World. Facts. My grandfather just passed away, right? <laughs> God, God rest John Henry. So, Thanks. my grandfather just passed away, but he got a brand new SS Monte Carlo, right? It was brand new. And once he died, he had that clause where anything paid off. I respect it. So, it was paid off, right? So, the nigga was smart because before he died, he bought two cars. 
nigga was a hustler. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I respect it. Before he died, so this is my first, this is my first time in it. My first time my grandmother actually took a, a, a trip in the new SS. Mm. Like, so we riding. She put the tape in and anything. You know, we jamming. It's old school shit. It's like Miss Pearlie and the Pearlettes. Talk about they singing and shit. But I realized it's been the same song for six hours. <laughs> Why the fuck am I hearing the Pearlettes again? Right. Same fucking song. My grandma like, is this the same song? Uh-uh. Yeah, she like, why in the hell is let's see what play next? Same damn song, Pearlettes. <laughs> My grandmother done took two goddamn cassettes at the same time and put them in the motherfucking because nigga, I had to listen to the Pearlettes for 75 hours. <laughs> Wait, what? She owned two it so it shots. This is a brand new car. John Henry probably cussing his shit. She had two copies of the same fucking... No. No. <laughs> it's two totally different cassettes in one cassette hole. You seen the movies. Ha- two of them done. <laughs> I'm from Baltimore, nigga. <laughs> two of them. I can't. I can't. It's one on top the other. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> What the fuck are you geeking for? Like, why not? There's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going on right now. Let's, uh, let's. <laughs> Actually, let's, 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 let's take a complete left turn. Is she wrong for this? Hold on, let's let the the resident woman drip is she, on this. Is she wrong for this? Is That's she wrong funny. for the picture? You gotta I'm let not going to say she's wrong for it, but I'm going to say it's inappropriate because she's married. Now, let me ask my brothers. You that picture that. Let me let me let me ask you the question. You know. That your better half has friends at work. You hear about it. She My come kids home. ain't got no jobs. <laughs> you he- you hear about these people when she come home. She tell you about everything that happened at- during the day. You know you know these people and you ain't never met them before in your life. One day she come home say, "Look, we was taking photos at the job." My home, you know Austin. We was taking. It was funny. We was taking photos. Check out what we did, and then this the photo. It's and she like it's funny. Is that an issue? So here's here's what I always say about issues in relationships. Is when you go as far as actually cheating, right? right. Whatever the act of cheating is, isn't really determined by the person doing the cheating. Right. The right. person getting cheated on is the person that says whether or not what was done was acceptable. I like that you said that. So I everybody has a bunch of opinions on this, mm-hmm. right? And those opinions are gonna be what they're gonna be. You you do a very public thing, you know what I'm saying? And then this right. is a picture in a very public forum. That being the case. We know her her intent, and I say this all the time, man. Good intent isn't a bulletproof vest. Yeah. Uh, you can have the best of intentions, but if it isn't well received, it's not going to be a good deal. And and you don't have any control over the that's, reception. I that, that, I think that's, and I, I don't want to, like it's it's hard because I want to say the timelines at fault. Like I because I think I think like like what I think what you said is the important part. Regardless of what's, of what's going on, if this photo comes out and Keith Lee said, I got you, man. If Keith Lee said, I'm cool with this, mm-hmm. nothing the timeline says needs to matter. Right. 
what we got instead was the timeline taking her to task. Yeah, that was weird. Over uh, something that, let's, I mean, let's, I, let's not give the timeline that much credit. The timeline, timeline. The timeline call her a bunch of weird names that the timeline likes to do. Timeline. Now, let's, let's, yeah, the timeline was is, do. Is timeline. As, as jerky and ignorant as they usually are. They timeline it. Is is yes. it a, so? Is it a situation where you're saying, if you're in the public light, you should be cognizant of what happens when you do those types of things? Absolutely. You gotta. You gotta know. Every, listen. listen I, being under, married is a, is a Undertaker just ended up at Mimi House just now. Oh, sure. <laughs> I have the light. My lights are smart, and I need. I forgot how to turn. I forgot how to turn the joints off. They supposed to go off at, at ten fifteen. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to get. It comes right off. Is that Mr. Perfect? You, is you it is. Mr. Perfect? <laughs> I said Undertaker, nigga. He Say Undertaker. Undertaker. I, don't know, I don't know the words, nigga. Like, bon. <laughs> it ain't no words. <laughs> I don't know the words. Bon. The pro wrestling song is crazy. <laughs> I don't know the words. Yo, pro How wrestling the Undertaker song go? Name that Wait. tune is, could be dope. Pro Sing the Undertaker name song. Could be a doc. Put a doc. If you're still in the audience, doc. Put this on next blur comment. For, for the hip hop or for the wrestling karaoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Sing the wrestling. Pro wrestling name that tune. <laughs> Now, Math, you you requested a photo. You requested a, a specific photo. I don't, yeah, Can you show what? me that photo right here? Okay. This is a this is an iconic photo. Now, if T Math on the wall path came downstairs and said, "Yo, we just won the volleyball championship," right, and Austin from Seven C. After I I made the winning spike, Austin from Seven C. We took this picture with I got me the on the shoulder. Yeah, I would have some motherfucking questions. Right? Questions, but but you just won the championship. Right. Okay. It's it's understand. I still got some questions, right? Mm -hmm. But that's not an inappropriate picture now. Yeah, I never. You can't put. No, ma. Keep going. Now go back to what we. Now, if she says we won the volleyball championship, yes. And no I made the. I got the. I got the winning spike, and I'm like, wait, who's who spike did you get? <laughs> who actually got the winning spike? Look at Cal's face. <laughs> And this is the picture that I see. When I saw that this was the picture, I said, "Oh, every everybody's everybody's drinking Duff beer." Oh, every, everybody's drinking. Duff everybody, beer. the nigga who took the photo, is he Duff holding beer. Shabani yogurts? What's in his hand? That is his yogurt. wife. Shibani That's yogurt. his wife. That nigga said his wife. That is that is Shabani. That's a great eye, Cal. That's a great eye, Cal, bro. I didn't notice the yogurts before. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I eat th the other thing is like I guess this is just a fun photo. How does this photo get out? How is this photo fun for who? Well, I, again, it's a, pro, again, it's a professional photo. It's lit. Like it's lit. That's. I'm assuming they were they they were taking whatever. Yeah, it's lit if I show up, nigga. What I'm saying is they're probably cool. I got they a they said let, let's take a fun photo or whatever the yeah. case may be. How's this photo get out? Where was this photo at before? They posted it, right? Who posted she posted it? it? Somebody must have. Somebody had, in the office had to post that. If Keith Lee is okay with it. If Keith Lee is okay with it, the timeline really shouldn't have baby. an issue. That's right. That's right. Which it, which I think is the big thing. I don't know if you, I, I don't. So let me ask if you a question. Keith Lee, if, if it's me, somebody going to see Uncle Charles. Right. I'll say that. Let me. <laughs> I had to miss my uncle Charles, y'all. Gonna have the black eyes and everything. Oh, uh, outside and in. But no, <laughs> the 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 thing is is or or my question is, do you think the oh. timeline no. would have any sort of effect on Keith's oh, reaction? Okay. 
You know, or nah. or does Keith know well enough that the if timeline is always going to timeline? I'm going to feel how I feel. Now the question is, is how did he get the picture? You know what I'm saying? Does he have a homeboy still over the way that him, maybe he was listening to them Tom Schema ass tapes with? Um, you know what I mean? Or Norm McDonald, whoever he was listening to. I would assume she sent um, the picture. Like, right. I'm hoping, like, whoever sent him that picture, hopefully it came from her. Because if it did, if it didn't. If it didn't. He released, he released the picture. Wait, they if, released the picture. If Keith so somebody didn't tagged see it. The picture. If Keith Lee didn't see the picture before the timeline saw the picture, I would assume she had the photo and probably would have showed. Look at look at what we did, like the the day after when they send the proofs or whatever. Look at what we did. I would assume because they pro wrestling fans, right? They they big pro wrestling. They know everybody. If your marriage is tight, the timeline is mute. You would think. If your relationship is tight, nothing anybody could say. You know your it, it should it shouldn't matter. I don't That's know. Right. I, both her legs was wrapped around that nigga. Wrapped. It, That's it, a, it's, it, if you, if you all, all my DC brethren, I don't think she did anything. I just think that it's inappropriate. Right. I'm assuming she did. I, I'm assuming they just took they just took a photo. Oh, she cheated. And I won't. No, 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 no. And and I think niggas was ridiculous for that. But my, I, I think the thing is, is, is we got to think like I, um. My 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 brother, my brethren from down to ninety five would say niggas was definitely sicing it. They was yeah. sicing it. They was yeah. definitely putting some sauce on it. And if the burrito already nasty and niggas putting extra sauce on it, you are not going to enjoy it. Um, I I, I think it's just an interesting situation, man. I would not have. Not have. Okay. Not have. Okay. Not have okay taking that picture. Okay. Um, yeah, you know I mean, even at, at Austin Theory, no, he shouldn't have took that goddamn picture. But he don't care. He was wrong for saying it. Hey, he definitely was wrong for taking it. He, he was, was right. He had the yogurt in his hand. He was ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wow. Yeah. No, no, I'm not going because it's too much. Go, it's too much right there. You, <laughs> you know, she... Like yo, he covering your wife in Chobani, nigga. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! So what kind? What stop kind it! Of, what no, kind stop. Of, no, pull that back up. Let's see what kind it was. It was what, raspberry. It looked like raspberry. Was it raspberry. Yeah. That looked like vanilla. That don't look like vanilla. No. Oh, oh, oh! I I thought you meant me or you. Get out of here. Pardon. Pardon. So like raspberry. The same week. Now, mind you. Sicing it. So yo, you scooping you, you a wild nigga putting yogurt on a on a woman. <laughs> Greek yogurt. Do you I think you would need more yogurt? yogurt? That's expensive, right? It's expensive. That's mm -hmm. the good that's shit. Why you using that's why you're using your hands. You don't want <laughs> this, you, using their hands? you don't want your spoon to spoil it. They restless, they don't eat those sugary yogurt. <laughs> This is madness. Wait, wait, wait. So, Mandy Rose gets released. They don't eat no sugary yogurt or some wild shit. <laughs> That's stupid. Mia Yim <laughs> deletes it. This is, she drops a Twitter. Matt Riddle goes to rehab. He caught a, 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 a apparently he caught, he failed the second drug test. What was it? Do we know? I've not seen anything on what um, he would have got popped for. He's got 420 t-shirts and shit, so I'm assuming it's not Dang weed. Grass. It can't be. And he's going to Roy. rehab. So it's the, not Roy's. The, the couple of reports I read, they they like referenced Jeff Hardy. So I, who, but but I don't know what that means. I don't know. I didn't know he. I just thought he smoked no, weed. No, no. I, I thought Riddle just smoked weed and, and did MMA. I don't know what that's. I don't know what's going on in his life. Um, red see, nose, red nose Riddle. I don't know what's going on, but uh, uh, apparently he's off TV for six weeks. Mm. So whatever it was, it was serious, and they just mm. said fuck it. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna have you again. 
La 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 la. Shit, oh, all those, all those, Co- all those Co- band Co- though. Are those band? What cocaine? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Zell. Which? Are those bands that mushroom tap? Tap mushrooms? Are mushrooms? Oh, yeah, they're hallucinating. All right, yeah. really quick, really quick. Well, I, really, really quick. I, like we, this. Listen, pro wrestling internet. Mushrooms. Pro wrestling internet. We have to so stop doing internet. false equivalencies. What does Some that things aren't just. They're not a one to one. Um, uh, brother, we man Wade is speaking up, saying what, Mandy Rose got oh, released. Okay, okay. They let Paige and Woods keep working after that fiasco. That was something done. In a private moment that got they got leaked, leaked. Right. they, they got wasn't leaked. actively displaying. You know right. what I'm saying? So they didn't have a menu. Are not the same thing. They are That's not right. the same. These That's things right. are very mm-hmm. different. That's right. You know what I'm saying? She had a whole menu. She said, "Come and get the feet. Let me see your dingling so I can give it a number." Like oh, you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? And she had oh, that under the. Four. She had that under the under the. She's uh, telling you, you were two. She had the, she, she, she did have that that under the small plates menu side of the menu, which is wild. Um, <laughs> she had a tapas menu. <laughs> a tapas. Yeah. I get what, what mushrooms would just because oh, I'm trying I'm trying to figure out where mushrooms would fall. I guess if you consider that an illegal drug, I guess it just yes. falls under there because they have they got a lot of things broken down for like prescription meds and. Uh, herbal and dietary supplements and K two yes, and synthetic shit. They don't. They don't specifically list mushrooms or like psilocybin or any of that shit in there. So I don't know. And Leon Oz and Kennedy. <laughs> Scabble dabble. <laughs> Scabble dabble. Has it? What's that? What's that? Baseball player who who said he used to play on Girl LSD Strawberry? all the time. No, Dur- not Dale Strawberry. Dur- it's Dur- Duck Strawberry? something. I think his nickname was Duck or something like that. He said he, he he pitched a no hitter, tripping on acid. Has there ever been a pro wrestler that's a, maybe New Jack? What Doc pro Ellis. Wrestlers? <coughs> he that's that's confirmed. Oh, Doc Ellis, yeah. Doc Ellis. Doc he, Ellis is, is a June 12, 1970. Player. He said he threw a no hitter on Paul being under the influence of LSD. Sandman, Sandman probably did LSD in the ring, huh? Yo, that nigga had the worst fit. That's right. The worst matches. Sam out of his mind. Worst, but he had the best. Big. All he was was an entrance. Anybody would have motherfucking moved named the Heineken Rana. It's cool with me. <laughs> the white <laughs> Russian leg sweep. The white Russian leg sweep was his finisher. <laughs> Yo, he cool with me. What's his name? The, sad, man. the announcer was his whole career. Joey Styles was Sandman's whole career. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> he's drunk. He's he's got he's a game. He's got a match. Somebody tell him. Somebody tell him. Like yo, he already blacked out. He's passed out before the match. Before the match, he gone. That nigga ain't had nothing but a uh, kento stick and a goddamn fuck. He really beat the. He beat himself in the head with a cane. That's crazy, dog. When his yeah, wife got spit, no, his wife got pile driven through the table. Said, well, wrestling crazy. <laughs> this shit crazy. The uh, chat knows that San- th- there's that infamous moment where where Kurt. There was a story where Kurt Angle was supposed to be in ECW. <laughs> yeah. Saw it. Kurt e- Kurt Angle was up in the in the in the crow's nest or whatever watching the show, and it happened to be the night where uh, Raven. And Sandman had a match, and the end, the, the finish of the match was Sandman crucified, and like shit was on fire, and, and shit was going on. And Kurt Angle's like a whole Christian, like nigga, what is y'all doing in the ring? Why is he? Why is he on a wood cross? I'm not. I'm not ECW. Let me go. What's Vince McMahon? That's, a, that's like a real what if. Imagine how they signed Kurt Angle, and he would have he would have been like just out of the olympics or whatever yeah no he he showed up with his olympic gold medal but like imagine if they got their hands on kurt angle train him it would have been hard him him and dean malenko probably would have been getting high now it's after like dean he probably um, it would have been very easy access them those locker rooms were he probably wouldn't be getting high now is there anybody more i think he would have been getting high then what'd you say fam 
is there any more anybody more underrated than Kurt Angle? Like I know people speak about him with reverence, but when they start talking about like the great niggas, like actual work in ring, like everything, Kurt did everything. At I watched. He was an Ada better at everything. I just watched. No, he was good. He was very good. Spoiler alert for the Patreon. I just watched a compilation of uh WWE Christmas uh like street fights, like Christmas shit that they did on TV. And there was one moment with Kurt Angle where he like he cut a promo on Santa Claus because he was pissed at Santa Claus because instead of his daughter missing him. His daughter was talking to him about wanting to write Santa letters for Santa Claus. So we say, you know, Santa, I'm about to fuck you up. And then he beat Santa Claus ass. He 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 fucking made Santa submit and everything. But I mean, he's really good. Like when he was on, he was unstoppable. Character, in ring, main event, all that. And then he got perked out and was in uh, impact for a while, going crazy. Stupid dumb off the top, was, top of the game. He was no good. He was great, but he was he a big and a he little body. Scary. <laughs> scary. Yeah, his uh his neck injury, like he couldn't lift weights because like but he was still doing that moose salt. Well <laughs> yo, his head big as a bitch. Like OJ. Mm. Like, yo, why your head this big? They, it's still hooping. big. That nigga off that hooving too, baby. That juice. Why that your head juice. this fucking big? <laughs> <laughs> I remember reading the sports bitch. section when I was like, Kurt Angle got pulled over for you know, under the influence driving. I'm like, Kurt, like Kurt Angle. Oh, like, the, oh like, the American hero. <laughs> the American. <laughs> no, oh, like, Olympian, the, the, right? the wrestler? Like, nah, yeah. Yeah, y'all man. Yeah. He, hey, was that, was, that was kind of the most American thing he could do, right? Get high and drive. <laughs> That was like America to me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Tiger Woods. <laughs> we don't know about Tiger Woods. He took pills and went to drive. Woo. Oh my God. He, he, looked crazy. Woo. he looked nuts. Whatever that nigga <laughs> said in that picture, whatever that they said that nigga did, he did. He did it. No, he did that <laughs> shit. He did that shit. He did all that shit. Don't tell me something. No, but I think, uh, was it Weed Man Wade that had the comment? I think. People have now put Jericho in a higher tier of the, like Pam said, the underappreciated wrestlers. And maybe these last few years in AEW has changed that perspective because someone like Kurt Angle now is the one, the more underappreciated wrestler. The whole time when Jericho went to New Japan, people were like, is this guy actually one of like the top five, top 10? Because he did all this in the ECW, WWE, Mexico, New Japan. Now he's going back to Japan at this age and putting on a big program with. Kenny Omega and got the list over, got the scarf over everything he did, and then he came to AEW, and that's kind of like silly. That I, that's the thing where, like, when I see Jericho, I'm like, ah, you could have anything hung it up, and I wouldn't have like this current day disdain for you, even though I respect everything you've done prior. But you've kind of hurt. It's like the Undertaker. Fire. If you stayed around too long, and that like, uh, I don't think Jer- Jericho's not in that lane. I though. think he- the T-shirts messed up Undertaker for me. No, Snicker face, Snicker face, yo. Kind of fucked up the Undertaker for me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh, is there anything else y'all want to talk about? Sorry, anybody okay. see the Vince Doc? Sorry, I I heard if you watch, I, I saw it before. Yeah, I'm about to say I heard if you watch Dark Side of the Ring, you've seen like ninety percent of it. So yeah, I think that was weird. Like the first hour and a half, they did a basically a hodgepodge of all of the uh, Dark Side of the Ring joints. Mm-hmm. And then the last half hour was currently. I heard there was they, a lot of new new interviews and stuff. Yeah, they they went into the 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 new stuff, the 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 Forbes or Wall Street Journal, whatever. They went into all that stuff. They did. The only thing I really didn't care for is on the way out of the documentary, they kind of they took a slight jab and kind of threw Stephanie under the bus, and then it was like roll credits fade to black. And I was like, oh, ah, really? y'all didn't have, you didn't have to do that. They didn't tell a lie. What'd they they didn't tell a lie. What they say? What they were doing? They 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 talked about that weird thing that Vince did. The that right after you know what Which, I mean. Oh. Right after uh, the the Ardo had come out, mm-hmm. and he came out there and said, "Then now forever together." Right. Like and he she, did that, right? Yeah. And then 
behavior. They talked about that. And then they talked about um, the day that, that Vince actually dropped the tweet. And they said that she, after all that, still came out and kind of gave him a respectful set. Like they, like the way they said it was like she still felt like it was a good idea. They tried to, to play her. To yeah, they they, they I I that didn't like fair, that on the way yeah, out. Man. Like I was I was on a borderline of calling it, you know, the the infamous term that everybody uses, a hit piece. Uh. Um, I didn't want to call it a hit piece until that moment, like because they were telling it, like, listen. Vince was a, a terrible dude. He did some wild stuff. Um, so they were telling the truth for the most part. It didn't feel like they were actually, they, it didn't feel like they were definitely trying to kill him until that moment where they took a shot at Stephanie too, which I thought was kind of unnecessary. Mm. Yeah, no, that is. <clears throat> Price's yeah. wrestling content, like you said, like they didn't have to, do that but their whole thing is because again like is stephanie mcmahon going to comment on this just like how they tried to reach out to brock lesnar and rick flair to comment on the plane ride from hell it's that whole thing like we're going to again recycle this footage that we only have access to because it's secondary and just a hit piece it's just for them to exploit wrestling because there's a whole bunch of dirty laundry in it's in its history from territory to territory to territory mm-hmm. and person to person that they don't care about the actual story they just want the dirt from it and and yeah, that's it's 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 um it's uh it's DJ Vlad, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's no jumper. You know what I mean? It's it's it's. But it's, it's dirty though. Yes, that's what Is that's my point. Very it's, sensational. Yeah. yeah, they you, they they looking at the the worst of it so they can give you the most sensationalized dirt. You know what I mean? It's juicy. And what did we say when they supposedly signed at MLW? Like, and where's MLW now? Like they kind of got that to say face like no we'll show actual wrestling mm-hmm. and show that you know we're not just invested for the exploit native you know content that wrestling has but it'd be great if if somebody could figure it out. it'd be great if they could figure it out over there but uh i also kind of i i, I agree i don't like i i what did they think one of the co-CEOs of the WWE who also happened to be the daughter of the man was going to do on TV. Like it's, right. it's kind of a, I understand right. what they're saying, but that is kind mm-hmm. of a, it's like oh, how they send the, someone the to, love too. yeah, that, that, that drug content does hit over. What did the, the pharmacopia or whatever that dude? That oh, dude yo, son, or, I lose, I'll, I'll lose a whole Sunday to that goddamn show. That, man, that nigga that. be high as, God dang it, that nigga be high. He just come on the camera. He be like, hi. Have you ever smoked a rat's tail? He's like, I don't know if you know about the infamous scorpion juice that comes yeah. out of the tongue beetles of the Serengeti. However, if you ingest 3.7 ounces of Not it. Not the Serengeti. Yo, yeah. me, God. You pour <laughs> some pour some frog's blood on these wood shavings and snort what? it? He'll be high as a bitch. Pharmacopia. Pharmacopia. Some random skinny tall white dude. He just be getting high as fuck. <laughs> That's what it is. Matt like, Riddle. Let's put him on there. Might as well put him on there. He just come up <laughs> like, bro. I just, I just ingested, uh, I just ingested thirteen cc's of Smurf Skeet. I am high as a giraffe neck. I. I'm still gonna host this show. So listen, <laughs> I think it did the toad as Wazel said. Oh, There's nigga, a more than like the pot um, and like talk. That's like, one so of the scariest things I've like ever it. heard. That got dang the toad is scary. What licking the toad? I don't the toad. Whatever that because Mike Tyson talked about doing the toad. I right, listen. I might get high, might get high. Mike Tyson. And Mike Mike said I want to cry. Oh, high. The toad. Stop saying stuff. You know he's gonna be typed in. Uh, One of his friends suggests he <laughs> code venom. He, Mike Tyson he, licked the toad. Mike oh, Tyson God. said he was doing cocaine, so he said, "Why not do toad venom?" I mean, Bufo out. Yeah. Uh, Bufo out there. I'm not looking no toad. A Mexican amphibian, <laughs> otherwise you known as the Sonoran. What do you? What do you You're, do with the fucking venom? Can't touch a frog. You you got that bitch in. 
What you do after that? You get bumps all over your Tyson. Tyson told the New York Post Look that he you might get. He tripped on Toad fifty three times, sometimes as much as three times in the same day. He uh, he said he lost a hundred pounds in three months. Started boxing again, and re- this is after he was tripping on Toad. What do you? How do? You, what do you how do? do, you, with the toad? How do, you do some, yeah. They said I, Toad venom. Uh, it's you can smoke the venom apparently. What are you doing? How do you get? How do you venom? get the venom? It's venom can be. You gotta smoked. milk the toad. Yeah, I guess you gotta milk the 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 <laughs> the, 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 the Sonoran <laughs> Desert toad. Moo, stop. Moo. It? <laughs> yeah, apparently it, 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 it hibernates <laughs> underground seven months out the year, and then when it's active, you can get its venom, and you can smoke it. And you can get a little. They call it a psychoactive <laughs> experience. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Milking the toe. Now, you got to smoke it though, bro. You got to put it in like a jar, and then like figure it out. In the bong, you put it in a bong. You put it in. Nah, you can't just smoke juice out of bong. You gotta. <laughs> You gotta smoke. You, you had to dip. You would probably have to like do it like they do the dippers, right? You dip and then roll. Oh, it and then roll. Yeah, you dip it's like the leak. It's like the leak. Only it's toe venom. So Mimi, what you do is right. You take a, a new fork, <laughs> take you a new port one hundred, and you dip it and in the toe venom. The and dipper. then you light that and you smoke that. That's how niggas used to get. Embalming food, you, know? you can lick it straight off the toes. Is that free base? Is that toad free base? Yes. <laughs> I always heard no, you no, can I lick prefer, the toad and I, you I can get. Mine. He was like, oh, I "That's pure." You got That's the toad dealer. The toad dealer hold the. Oh, he got. The I need it right out the toad. He opened a metal suitcase. He got seventeen frogs in there. He just. <laughs> and you just. Now nah, give me the one. That one too small. That one too small. What you need the big toe? I need the big toe. I need all the venom. Like, I got the WB one. I got this, this one. Got a little bit of I got the WB I one. I told y'all funny. not to step on the toe. Y'all to put a little frog in the toe. It's a little bit of frog in the toe. Y'all niggas try to step on the toe. Make more. Don't go it's down there. They toe brand. stepped on. It's a they name toe brand on like it. Fisher wow. Price. <laughs> Don't let me catch you. How do you get the venom? Told out here. You gotta juice it. Milk yeah. it, milk it, milk it. David, they... is this on? Is there a video for this? No, oh, this is... no, no. Yeah, I'm getting this... out of here. I'm gonna no, see this nigga no. milk the toe on your own time. Venom. No, you this... see, he's typing. Maybe the blasties. Milk it. Milk it. No, there's really. There, <laughs> I think there's a there's a pharmacopoeia episode about the about milking. Yes, I wasn't making that. I wasn't making this up. I wasn't. Nah, but, wait, how does nah, that? I need nah, to nah, see. Nah, nah, I but, need to but see. Zell said that he licked the toad. Nah, you said what? Or he was. Zell said he he was on the toad. I always heard oh. you lick the toad. No, he's he definitely he's smoking. Not something. Zell. Oh wait, I was saying that. Hold up. I don't know, Mike. He said he was sitting in the house. Nah, they like, all right. I'm not going because this is kind of disgusting. You know, when like you have like a pimple and you squeeze a pimple, they were squeezing on the frog and the the venom was coming out. And I guess they take that and turn that into the the shit that they smoke. I had a cyst, right? I had a cyst on my This looked like skeet low key. I had a cyst right here. Mm. So the doctor was like, "Yo, you want you want me to n- nah? I don't know that motherfucker. I'll just go ahead." <laughs> he cut that just bitch. Go ahead, bust it open, huh? He cut that bitch because he had to. He had to use the scalpel, all that shit. It's like I got stitches, everything. So he cut the bitch up, and and but it wasn't no juice in it. It was already grit. It was just like he, a, a bunch of when shit. When he pulled the top out, he showed me the top of it. The top of it looked like like a fucking thimble. Like the, the head of a thimble. You know what I mean? So he showed me that. He was like, here go the top. I'm like, don't put that in my face. That shit stink. It's some Dr. Pimple Popper. She look, it's look. yours. And then it's he, yours. Then it's he funny. Pulled the, he pulled the rest. He was like, this was in it. Yuck. And he, you know what I mean? He sprinkled me. Sprinkle. He sprinkled it on you? He no, said, this your insides, no. nigga. <laughs> it's yours, baby. It's yeah. Take this. You want this back? Here, take and then this. Like, hey, yo, and then, like, if you smoke it, you take the test, and then your ghost to give you all the answers. 
<laughs> this nigga right here. Hey, hey, nah, nigga, nah. That's that's C. That's C. Erase that. Man, right. Mike got me the Harvard and everything. This the venom. This how they got the venom. Damn. They were squeezing them. I didn't know what we was looking at. This the venom. <laughs> you lucky like I didn't get the video to see him squirting. The show. This <laughs> Group before the show, like Kelsey Monroe. <laughs> I'm out of here, dog. Get us out. Get us out of here. <laughs> so Mimi, Cal, it's your job to get us out of here. Mimi, you got a black us. grass of the week. Get us out of here. <laughs> Ricky Stark. Ricky Starks. Shout out to the homie. He was crying, yo. Anyway, fam, who you got? Yeah, he knew it was the last time he knew it was going to be there. Jesus. Yo, I, you know, all, all of the new, I, I, I'm going to just go all of the new black champs that were crowned last weekend, man. It was a plethora of veritable cornucopia Facts. of Negro champions, man. We we caught up on the Ooh. Negro champs and then like the Athena one. And... I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm gonna change it. Oh. Who? New day. Took my hands. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Cause this this image right here. Yeah. That shit hard. That shit super. They hard. owed them that after they gave they gave a championship run uh, away to the Usos. They owed them this run. Facts. No, this is dope. And I I, I would love to see them. You, you, fam, but in the time that fam you know talks about how there's not a lot going on. Let the Uso, I mean, sorry, let the New Day be the NXT champions. Let them face the Usos on SmackDown. Let them face people on Raw. I would love to see them just be champions and let them run those champions around before they lose to whoever in NXT. Let them uh, ambassador that shit around for a little bit. That's right. Who you got, man? I'm going with L O'Neal. Shout out to the shout out to the lane for winning the next up. Uh, heavyweight championship. Hey, get some new bed covers, man. You like you was in the back of the goddamn Regal Beagle, my nigga. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. I understand. His box spring on the floor, baby. Yeah, nigga, like he was ready. He was ready to get Chrissy, Chrissy Snow. <laughs> Who you got? And man. Who you got, Trip? I don't know. I got Leo get Rush and Chris Bay. Leo Rush and they Chris Bay. The the oh, they in the, the finals. Years. Mm-hmm. They're doing they're the finals. Finals. I haven't seen that matchup, but the first tag match they had with their teams, they had a great interaction at the beginning where they went like face to face and just were talking yeah, shit to each other. And then they went, <laughs> yeah, and then they did Super Saiyan yeah. wrestling. <laughs> a bunch of this shit going on. Nah, I respect it. I, like, I, it's cool when niggas, when the good niggas is doing this, but you when the bad ones, man? but when the bad ones do it, you like, man, tell them shit. The bad niggas, who are the bad ones? ones? Everybody else. Facts. <laughs> Us against the world. Uh, since Mimi changed her vote, I'm going to have to go with Starks. I mean, outside of all the critiques I have about the MJF match and MJF going forward, I got to give Starks props. Him finally making it to the, the main event. Him showing out in that. He really... I, I, he he, family for real, just because you know that starts. But that's the future. He he should be the right now. I would feel, but he definitely the future. His time is his time is coming. Um, should I guess that's it, that's it for this week? Uh, Mimi, where could the people find you on the social medias? We got to get out of here. On the Twitter machine, if it's still alive. It's dead. It ain't. It's dead. We're gonna be on Vine, whatever that shit called. Vine. <laughs> Vibe. There's a vibe. 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 Uh, Girl, you got that Roy, vibe. you a nasty nigga. <laughs> For real nasty. Real super nasty. That's what's up. Fam. You got hey, man, that. catch me on that new uh, that new guy in New Edition tour. Uh, you know what I mean? Going around the country. Um. Playing shout, out to, shout out to Guy. I always thought Aaron Hall's name was Guy. Like, I thought he was Guy. So did I. That's Guy. Yeah, that's so Guy right there. I thought that was Guy. <laughs> Teddy Wait, Riley did you see that and Guy. Video? Did you see that Aaron Hall video? Which one? He was Guy. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't. I'm not Damn watching it. No, Wait, y'all, not, y'all not taking Guy away from me. Y'all not ruining Guy. 
I'm not Ooh, watching that. You know it. what I mean? I, I think uh, uh it's got it. which uh which militia had posted the video and I said I'm not looking at that video of God talking because that was guy in that video. You know, y'all not enough. ruining Teddy's jams. But it nigga. was talk. Dumb was dumb diddy. Dumb dumb diddy got that. Dumb dumb diddy. <laughs> No. And the nigga was old. This is guy right here. Yeah, yeah that's him. He got that's Kurt Anglehead. Yeah, that's, yeah. that nigga. That nigga he is tall. Yo, why is he so tall? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, that nigga. That nigga got a fifth floor to his head. Like, he <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, he is a wild looking nigga. Guy is a wild looking nigga. Man. Why guy? Why guy ain't got no mustache? He got no mustache. <laughs> <laughs> to go, what is going on, guy? Hey, listen, shout guy, out to you I I'm do not, to you, baby. I do not trust. You saying his head's the triple cage from WCW? That's a big hit. <laughs> hey, oh, whole time. Like the nigga, uh, the nigga off ready to rumble, ray right? jump off the top. Of his yeah. head. I, will I will crown you. <laughs> No, 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 no. Listen, this nigga said, Yo, guy looks like sexy Squidward is hilarious. Yo, he do got a big I'm fucking sorry. head. He didn't show the goddamn frog ski. Sexy Squidward is crazy. Getting out of here. Oh, man. Uh oh. Doc, Doc, uh, Doc said he moving and shaking outside. Nah, real spill, man. Ilfan79 on all social media. Um, at something else, uh, you know what I mean? That's something else. No G, we all the G you need. Catch us. We on win a break, nigga. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I got I got stuff to do, man. I gotta go shopping. You know what I mean? Holidays. I gotta... Yeah, man. It's, it's it's the goddamn holidays, man. So we'll catch y'all. Uh, you know what I mean? We coming back with uh black announce table setting off our um our creator coverages. We're gonna we're gonna start doing a bunch of creators and talking to those folks. Uh, starting um January, January, I believe it's January 4th. The 4th, I believe, is that yeah, right? man. We, yeah. We'll be back with a great episode. Shout out to Eve, shout out to Cody. Uh, shout out to Suku, she didn't make the app, but um, shout out to her. And, and yeah, man, um, that way is Buffy every single Friday. Uh, this Friday, brother Cal, we're we gonna get uh, wrap up this year, right? Yeah, we talking uh, movies, TV, all the good shit you like to watch this year and and maybe a little insight on what you could expect next year i still ain't see avatar so we ain't gonna talk about avatar i'm not going to see avatar right, the same day so we we, sh- sh- we, on, we on the same page bro man hey bump Yo, with don't, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow me no we follow you don't follow me at all no, we follow shout you. out to the family salute that's it, nigga. Drift. Uh, follow me. You can follow me on. Don't follow me at all, nigga. You can follow Math on Twitter at Math Damon. <laughs> Don't ever follow me. You can follow me on Twitter at Davis AK Drift. Instagram Davis Colm DC. Thanks me. versus Davis live every Sunday on YouTube. Thanks versus Davis Patreon. White Noise every weekend on the Black Wrestling Patreon, where we also have Black Watch with Fame in downtown Tony Brown. True. Black Wrestling Podcast Club or Reaction Club, depending on what Cal's doing any given day or I'll hour. I'll be reacting, yo. And yeah. All types it. of shit. All types of shit. Salute Sandy. Salute everybody on the Patreon. We'll talk every Tuesday. Twitter Spaces, me, me, and Corey. Can we get... I gotta take my teeth out. Can we hurry up? <laughs> he was talking, nigga. Goddamn. At Cal on Twitter. And you can also... At- uh, <laughs> At Black Rasslin on Twitter, wow. Facebook, Instagram, BlackRasslin.com is a website. As always, you can find the Black Rasslin podcast on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Google. Every Thursday, 8.35 p.m., BRP is live. <laughs> giving you five bites of podcasts and excellence from the five of us and maybe some other crazies. Uh, Patreon.com slash Black Rasslin. Pay to one. Bye. Pay to Bye. You can get all that Bye. content that Bye. Drip is talking about Bye. and all these types of insanity. Bye. A lot of the stuff you will see on the YouTube. Uh, we'll catch y'all next week. It's the holidays. Shout out to the droplets. Is it the holidays? Man, he said shout. Are we out. <laughs>